What's up, friends? Welcome back to IE and Friends. My name is Saul Gomez. My name is Caesar. My name is Full Bear. And, uh, and happy what? graduation to everybody who's been graduating. Shout out to all the graduates. Yeah. All the yeah, graduates. Uh, grad the graduates. graduates. I, I, saw you were at I didn't graduate. I saw, you were at a gra you, I saw you were at a high school graduation. Yeah. Pulled up in the front with the car. No. <laughs> That's crazy Spawn work, Spawn camping. <laughs> He's prepping. Dog. <laughs> Spawn <laughs> camping is ridiculous, bro. That's, what, that's why you're just like a slut today? That's spawn camping. No, my cousin just graduated. That's crazy. That's what we're going to go with? What? That's yeah, the story the we're fuck? going with? Yeah. My oh, cousin okay. graduated. Well, you got to go, though. It was emotional because my little cousin. That's my, that's my dog. That's the, uh, for the people that know me from Loser Says What, that was, um, what was that video? Um... It was, it was all ago. a dream. It was all a dream. Oh, I think like about a week ago. No, nah, no, nah, he graduated. No, nah, he, he, nah, he hasn't. He, he, He's he, not graduated. He failed. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. No, nah, he graduates in two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so you going to pull up to that one too? If they invite me, yeah. Well, you know what they say about Whittier? <laughs> the girls are prettier. They used to be prettier. Mm. Oh, <laughs> pretty. that's, what, that's what Sammy Sam said. That was funny. That's crazy. I want to ask you guys something. Something that's been trending recently. Something that we also posted. What's harder? Working a nine to five or being an influencer? Let me see. Is this really is this really a debate? Right dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, because I do both. Well, I don't work a nine to five because fuck that. But I do have an actual job. And nothing wrong it's, with a nine to five. It's, though. it's harder. No, nothing wrong with a <laughs> nine to five. But it's just like it's a routine, right? And like when I started filming my my like gym videos and stuff, it's a little bit more difficult to like really come out of your comfort zone and do that stuff. Mm, so I feel, like, I feel like I feel like comfort comfortness is it's a lot harder to do social media. People look at you sometimes funny. I mean, people don't really look at you; just think they do. Um, uh, you have the stability of a nine to five, and when you're if you just do social media like yourself, you don't like if yeah, YouTube yeah. is like tomorrow, hey guys, so uh, we're closing down. Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? Technically, any company can just close down, though. Right. That's what I was thinking too. I think like this is my this is my. I think you can't. It's really hard to compare both for me what i say yes it's a 24 7 job um but you have way more freedom in those 24 7 today 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 we got to shoot guns today i was shooting airsoft <laughs> well, that's my job that was my dog, that dog, was my concept that was not, my work. it's not even a debate <coughs> it's not a debate i think this is when it gets to a debate i think it gets like if you're an influencer just straight influencer where you're just you get paid to make tiktoks and you're just seeing how long that goes, definitely not a debate. But if you're turning it into a company, which, you know, something I'm doing, that's when it gets hard because it's more now that you got to learn the logistics part of the business. You're a business owner. Yeah, you're a business owner and you got to make sure everything's on, like everything's right or else then you got to start paying like all these fucking crazy ass fees. And then sometimes it's all you. So you have no accountant. You have no one, no person that... Goes yeah. through all of this. Like if I you mess could. up, in my, like yeah. if I mess up in my job, like it doesn't fully, like it does fall on me. But at the end of the day, like I can't get sued. Exactly. You can get sued. I get sued for anything, break right? Your leg, for anything. Your leg, Eric, Eric, yeah, yeah. Break your leg right now. So there's mm -hmm. there's that there's that part. There's a lot of <laughs> things to learn. And I think that's when it gets hard, and then your income depends on you. So yeah. there's really no break. I think it just depends what type of nine to five you yeah. could have too. And you know what's funny? Everybody thinks that uh, CEOs are rich. They're not the richest ones. Because salespersons are, they're what salespeople are. Yeah, because it's usually the thing is in business is you have to pay your employees first before you pay you. So for the most part, motherfuckers are depressed as a motherfucker. I'm depressed. Help me. Yeah. So <laughs> hey, better help. <laughs> Use our code. I your yeah, friends. Yeah. So I think it is. It is. It's a tough. Can I ask someone? Can I ask someone from the audience? Oh, What's we up, got bro? a straight nine bro, bro, Hey, bro, bro, bro. Can we ask you something? Quick, real quick. What's you think? Can you just tell me here because they're trying to make this a debate. You, th you think Saul's job is easier than yours or harder? <laughs> Yeah. Also, by the way, my brother, he's a, a mailman. Just you, be honest. What's harder, your job or my job? You want to ask me that question. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See? He said he works. I saw my brother said I do work longer hours. But. Nah, how much did you work when you first started? But labor, he's way more labor. 10 hours, yeah. 10 hours, 12 10, 12 hours. 12 hours, right? Sometimes even 14. Yeah. That's sometimes that's me every day. Yeah. Well, you so were the hours you, you were shooting here's guns. The thing, you were shooting guns for three I'd hours. Rather, <laughs> I'd rather do what you're doing than what he's doing. Oh, for sure, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how this is a debate. You, you ever drive today. your car and then think, "Damn, so I was at home right now, laying in bed." <laughs> <laughs> let's, and let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Yours may be more hours, but who's having more fun? We're always having more fun. 
Bro, what the <laughs> fuck you mean? Dog. He likes being chased by dogs? Well, me, I'm staring at a computer all day. He's in the, he's walking. Oh, uh, dog, he's staring at a guy. He's staring at a computer all day. <laughs> oh my, he's staring at a computer all day. <laughs> you understand? You know what, what he did? You know, you know what he did today for two hours? He shot airsoft he shot guns. airsoft guns right now. Thank you. Yeah, go, bro. Enjoy your food like a man, bro. Go ahead, bro. Enjoy, hey, go. Enjoy your food, bro. You're, enjoy your food, bro. You, you don't deserve, deserve it. You, you enjoy you deserve your it, dog. We don't deserve, deserve your shit. Diet. All right, so this is this is my my this is my opinion. All right, it's my. What's opinion. your opinion? Because you do this full yeah, this I do this full, full time, time job. And mind you, I've done it. I've bro, I've had so many fucking jobs. I've I've had every not every job you can think of, but you're. I remember yeah. I did construction for one day, and I was like, fuck this. I, I was a I was a mailman. I was an Amazon driver. I was a, a game master at an escape room. I worked at that Sprint. Was- um, I worked as a video editor. I worked as. I ain't gonna lie to you, a game master at a skate room sounds kind of fun. That shit though. was fun, bro. Yeah. I have a funny ass story about that. But um, so I think the best part about the job is I can rely on a check every week or every two weeks, and that was the best part. And it's consistent. Yeah, here I get paid every month. So usually at the end of the month, I'm just like, oh shit, I'm not gonna go out this tonight. Mm. So that's that's how I, it's just more stressful. I think it's just more stressful. It's not hard. Physical work, fuck no, right. The nine to five physical work, that's way harder. My physical work, little to none. My mental stress, higher than a nine to five. I say um, no, there's some nine to fives that are very stressful mentally. Maybe even more stressful than uh-uh. <laughs> I, I feel like you can't compare apples to pears. Yeah, you it's can't a different type of labor. I just it's think like, it's not a debate, bro. It's like me comparing my job to a construction let's worker just, job. You know what on, it is? Let's just be honest. Most regular jobs, wherever you are at, is harder dude it's i don't think it's harder just, i don't think it's harder i think you just don't like it you know no, actually i got i got a good one i got a good one so this is a great analogy i forgot what's the, t- the statistic but i think only like 10 percent of businesses succeed in america mm-hmm. so that makes it extremely difficult to run a business and that's after five years yeah that's after i think the after the first year there it is after the first year of starting a business 50 percent of a businesses they end after the second year, there's only, um, I think there's only 15 remaining, 15% from that half. And then after the third year, there's 5% businesses left. So in that case, you can statistically say being an uh, entrepreneur, self, uh, self-employed self person statistically is harder. But then we go back to it's social media. It's, different. it's social media, bro. No, but it's still a business. No, I know, but it's social media. But I'm not doing TikTok dances. No, <laughs> that's not what, social media can be any many different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. that's. I, I think it's um like Caesar said, it's paired to apples. It's like someone complaining about being sad, right? It's like, oh, how are you sad if that person's way more sad? If he doesn't have a body. Yeah. So I think yeah, it's compares to apples. I don't and know. <laughs> every job is harder than. At the end of the day, the people working the oil rigs, they're going to all call us pussies. At the end of the and day, and they're going to say, but they get paid really well. And you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. To be honest, but fair enough. Or you know what? I'm like, you know what? You know what? Who keeps you entertained at the oil rigs? Because bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, you're, you're doing something that you really like to do, right? You got soft hands, boy. You know, you're, like, you're doing something you really like to do, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly my point. So there's never, ever, ever any freaking uh, position to complain about it. At no, that's not a position to complain. Yeah. Yeah, it's not complaining. You know, I, sometimes, bro, <laughs> like the other day, mind you, the other, this was fucking hilarious. Uh-oh. I had a long day. <laughs> Why do I feel like okay, you're keep going, going, you're keep going, like you're my wife going. right now. I had a long day the other day. All right. Hey, you know what my long day consisted let's of? What it, let's see what it consists. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. No, 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 we're intrigued. We're intrigued. I remember coming Just the way home. You said it. I remember coming home and uh, I lay down on my bed. What time was, was like, this? And I was like, oh fuck, I'm so tired. And I was like, what did I do today? This is what I did to, this is what I did on this long day. <sighs> this is where everything I said just goes out the window. So I go film. Yeah, with super ego and friends, Timothy yeah. de la Ghetto, all these fucking hilarious people. Yeah, right. I get, I get suited up in pro clubs, and then <laughs> all these <laughs> brother came to hear the <laughs> he wants to hear the long day like, story. I heard the story and I got fucking pissed. <laughs> and then all these big booty Latinas had to come, and like I had to direct them, and we had to come up with ideas, <sighs> right? And I had to keep them entertained. And then after that, uh, I had to drive back. And I remember I got home and I was exhausted. I was like, fuck, it was a long day. <laughs> I, I hope you're just fucking. You know what though? It. No, I really honestly hope you're what makes it What makes it a long day is the drive. Because I have to drive in Los Angeles. And honestly, yeah, that's it. I get it, but that's the only part of your day that was long because you were having fun. 
I, I had a great time. I, I feel, yeah. The only part where you felt like it was a long day was your drive there and your drive back. Yeah, you yeah, went all the way to it. LA. Yeah, that's it. That was it. Now, nah, but I'm super grateful to be in this position and I, I never, I never. Uh, I like how he heard you from all the way over there. <laughs> and he was like, this motherfucker telling the same damn story right now. Yeah. Like, I feel like you vented to him. Hey, bro, yeah. I had such a long day today. He's barely coming home at 8, 8 p.m. Technically, Raul, what am I doing when you get up for work? Editing. Yup, you see? He said I'm editing. Once he, what time he gets up at work? Like 7, 7.30, 8 a.m.? I'm locked in. Damn. <laughs> yeah. He said, how many, how many naps how many do I take naps a day? Take, That's crazy. Answer him. I take one answer nap. Answer him. Are you I take sure about one that? Nap. Yeah, I take how one nap. nap. 14 minutes. Exactly. 14 minutes exactly. Bro, is that right? He's not here when I take naps. Oh, okay. I, I, I take a nap every day at 1 p.m. from 1 to 1 14 p.m. Because that's the only time that She's doesn't that get weird. me groggy. I've tested. I've had so much time that I've tested my naps. <laughs> the fact you had fucking time to experiment about this is my... Oh, my God. I hate you. Oh. But, mind you, I worked hard to get to this position. No one's hey. saying you didn't, bro. I'm not. I'm just, just saying. Just yeah. for people calling me, like, ungrateful. It, it, it's kind of like saying, like, you get to, like, the top of your position anywhere you work. Yeah. You don't do that much work. Yeah, to get here, I had to work double when I had a job and I had a school, go to school. Yeah, I feel so. like, because like any position you have, whenever you get to the top, you don't work as much. You don't exactly. really do. Like, if I, like once I get to the top, I'm like go. what I do. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I really, I mean, I really don't do shit. I get paid pretty well. But once yeah. I do that, I'm like, oh, well, I'm done. Once you, you get to a place where you start hiring people and you start putting people in places. So you can now only focus on the creative side. Exactly. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm at now. Like I do have a little bit more time, but I'm still, my brain's still moving. Yeah. So it doesn't end. It's a 20, I'm locked in for 24 seven for the rest of my life. Isn't that like, doesn't that like make you feel sad for me, bro? No, that for not. the rest of my life, I won't stop. I won't stop working. That's a lie. Do you feel bad? Stop spending your money dumb. That's literally most people in America. No, but like people after like 65, they're retiring. Not everyone. After 65, I'm still locking Nowadays, in. Nowadays, everyone can't even retire at 65 anymore. You know, retirement is probably not going to exist in like four or five years. That's crazy. Yeah. This shit's insane. No, nah, you can't be 85 years old still working. That's ridiculous. I see them at Walmart all Home the time. Home Depot, yeah. Lowe's. I see them. Stanley like, Brothers, Sam's yeah, Club, yeah, Costco. That, that, <laughs> that, uh, where would you get that from? What? That. That the retirement's going to end? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a, a statistic that the um, what is it called the uh, what's that what's that thing the social, social security. security yeah social security is ending I think in like five years just exactly. because of inflation that's why I kind of get mad when my taxes take some of that shit out dead ass bro it's like it doesn't even matter anymore you know we better get that shit back when watch all I those mean, years of working I'm gonna just start taking people's homes <laughs> social security ending watch I'm gonna get this I hope it ends just don't take any more money out of my, of I know, my if they know my if they know it's ending why are they like L like I get like I think I don't even know how much uh, I tax on that social security cash reserves will be fully depleted by 2034 so we got 10 more years of them taking okay. money out of, of them pay? taking our money out no. so where does this shit where's like what's going on where's this money going I don't understand your neighbor the one over here yeah, yeah. your neighbor gets that yeah for the next 10 years so is that official though yeah, well that's like it's from nasdaq.com i don't know it's like the projection i'm not i'm not banking on the have, government doesn't yeah. doesn't that really have to go through all the motions of getting that you no know, it's just the projection how our money how the how inflation oh, okay. is working yeah, i thought you meant like it was a full actual ruling no no they're not going to end it it just like the money is is worth like I, i'm not you. yeah I don't, I don't i feel like i feel like if you're like 20 years like in your 20s you shouldn't think about social security being a factor of your retirement I feel like there's so many other things you could do. Yeah, I think you know, honestly, bro, investments. I'm not going to lie, bro. Everybody should just put their money on the SP 500. Is it 500? Dividends. Yeah, because you just, bro. I didn't even know this shit. I forgot I put money in fucking Google, like uh, back when I was investing and shit. And I deleted my Robinhood. I deleted everything because I didn't want to do anything with stocks. But I forgot I never took out my money from Google. <laughs> and then I I recently downloaded Robinhood. And I had fucking 2K in Google. Can I borrow five bucks? Just from, it's not, this is, this is staying there. I'm just, that's my retirement. My retirement is Google. Shout out to Google. All right. So, and you know what it is? All you got to do is put like, put like at least 10 bucks from your paycheck. Every time you get a paycheck, just put 10 bucks. Because, well, it depends on the stock, but Google. Yeah, I was like, Google stock is not $10 a share. But no, no, buy, but you can, can buy, buy you can buy little portions. Yeah. So uh, I think right now Google is at 167 a share. So that shit is not that bad. And then it just, and it's just going up. It's just going up. Like I saw it. I saw the trend from, I think like four years ago. It just, like it just was going up. 
We got to think. What's a company right now that we should invest in that's not really high right now, but it will blow up? Oh, you know what? Hey, you know what you hey, got to do? You, di you didn't see my note like a couple weeks ago? No. I said cannabis companies. So this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to nah, do. Those, those are a risk, though, because they can get shut down whenever. Now, if you want to do your own retirement plan, want to do your own retirement plan, is the S is S and P 500. Mm -hmm. So that it gets all the like all the top stocks and they put it into one mm -hmm. and it spreads it out. So it's always going up. It's always mm -hmm. like it's a good secure and it's a long term. And it's me, a long term investment. Let me tell you about dividends, my friend. That's when the company pays you money for having stocks for them. So like, let's say I have Walmart stock every month. I get a $60 check from them. Just add it on. Yeah. So get out of the retirement of <laughs> your social security. Yeah. Fuck stock. your social security. Fuck social security. Yeah. And uh, it's cool. Like, it's not even a Robin Hood ad, but I like Robin Hood because you can automatically put like every month. Mm -hmm. Like, just put five bucks a month. That's it. That's it. Trust. Trust. And then just forget about it. Delete the I app. I forgot about it. And then you owe money. Delete the app. No, <laughs> you never owe money until you take it out. That'd be funny. So you can be like negative 10K, but just keep that shit in. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. If you decide to like, okay, I'm taking my money out. Like, take Next out 10K, you know, just in. This company went bankrupt. Yeah. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, invest on your own he, at your own he, risk. He, he yeah. advised you to do five dollars. Like actually, y'all, <laughs> bro. Hey, he throws out a meme coin right now. I was about to. <laughs> I was about to post a meme coin today because the which one? R.I.P. Uh, Doge Doge coin. Because that little, the little, the little dog just passed away. So I was like, that shit's going up. So what, I put fifty bucks the, in that. I hole. know that, that's a Japanese. Like, what are they called again? The, the Shih Tzu. It's not a Shih Tzu. Shiba, it? Shiba, Shiba. It's a Shiba. Yeah. Yeah, I put a. Uh, I, I put where well, how's this shit looking right now? Deutsch Those dogs coin. are so adorable, dude. I know yeah. I want one. <laughs> yeah, that dog died, so I'm expecting that shit to skyrocket. So did you put money in McDonald's as well? Nah, not McDonald's. But the guy died. Yeah, but he, but he was against McDonald's. Yeah, he was proving a point. Yeah, he's like McDonald's. Uh, don't go to McDonald's. The whole McDonald's. point was him to eat McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for thirty days and see how his body would be. I, feel like I could do it for a year. It's like I've been doing that shit. Huh? I feel like I could do it for a year. I was like, I've been doing that. My imagine <laughs> Aaron did it for like two years straight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go come at McDonald's and Burger King. Yeah, so that that's that's a financial segment. What's up with Gomez? Yeah, that's all I got. Invest your money wisely. I'm in a, I'm in a, in a financial crisis. Not Burden? a financial crisis. No, a in, a, financial in a financial spur? adventure. Where like for the past week or two, I've been messaging people who are like really successful and I'm inviting them out <coughs> to dinner just to like get some knowledge. Mm -hmm. I never realized how important knowledge is because I just hate not having obtainable things. Mm -hmm. But the best thing to learn are mistakes from other people. Yeah. So you don't do those mistakes. So I've been taking people to dinners and just kind of the value of talking with someone in person, not just looking everything up. Yeah, exactly. Because you can look anything up on Google, but it's better to just get from someone's perspective that's yeah. in that type of field that you're or in that, like whatever you're looking for. Yeah. And they're like some, so somewhat of an expert or whatever. Yeah. And you can learn from their experiences and their failures and their tribulations. Exactly. So it's like, that's even more knowledge than you can probably get. And especially if they're generic your, yeah. info on, especially Google. if they're in your industry. Yeah. So go for those. So yeah. that's your guys' homework for uh, this month. Go talk to someone, go get, go give someone. And it doesn't have to be a fucking multimillionaire. It could be like just someone who's, a a business bit, owner. Yeah, a little bit more successful than you are, and just see what, how their mind works. I told yeah. this girl I wanted to like have dinner with her. She thought I was asking her out on a date. I'm like, no, you're successful. Like, I want to want to pick your brain like that. That's yeah. kind of out of doubt. That's Loki a fuckboy fact. It is straight up fuckboy. <laughs> fuck way to she was, she was she was cute, bro. She was cute, but um, a little part of me I was like, yeah, you are cute, but also I kind of want to know how you're working. Mm. You know, it's the best thing to do, bro. You gotta compliment girls on their success. On their success, yeah. That's don't be how afraid. You, don't that's, be afraid. Yeah, that's how you get into the DMs. <laughs> that's how you do it with business. I got, I got a business owner in my head right now that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. That ass, bro. I'll try that out. Be like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys some fucking game right you now. Give me the game. Hey, I'm, I'm studying your industry. I want to get more into it. I was just wondering if you like to, if I could take you out to dinner and just to pick, uh, your, pick brain. your brain and see your, and see what type of. This is the key word. What type of habits, habits, and um, there's one more word. Let me see if I can find it. But you want to learn their habits because to be successful, you got to have successful habits. Right. So you want to tell her, you want to ask her, like, I kind of want to just learn about how you work, your habits, your, there's some other, let me look for what the fuck habits I said. Habits and your. Your work ethic. 
kind of want to learn more about your work ethic and trust bro i'll slide in right now and see what's up trust bro dead ass Sli- start sliding in girls through uh business perspectives I'm slide we're building empires this year only right? only fan girls <laughs> them too well not only fan girls but only fan managers but some only fans girls are smart either uh because you can whatever they're selling at the end of the day selling is the same skill no matter what you're selling so if you get someone who's really good at selling no why <laughs> No. Well, if it's if it's <laughs> no, he said no. If it's body t- t- titties, no, no, yeah, and anything else so differently. No, no, yeah, obviously. But they're like, if you see like their um the way they market shit. Okay, the way they, yeah. the way they, the I way think they, I should have worded the, the market. Yeah, marketing is the same no matter what you're selling. Yeah, that's okay. that was better. Yeah, better. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, easy. You can sell some titties. <laughs> yeah, you, well, how, what would you rather buy? A car or some titties? Like, what do you want? If bro, I gave you a five dollar chocolate bar or a five dollar titties. I get the titties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this economy, yeah, bro. I'm gonna start, with this economy, bro, I'm going to start selling my holes, bro. I'm going to you. Boss. Yo. Bro, I, honestly, I'm going to drop my OnlyFans at this yep. point. Like, I'm kind of tired. So did yeah. you guys Did you guys see the fucking huge news that happened, like, what, maybe two weeks ago? What happened? Oh, fucking, fucking you guys remember that? Sh- you, remember, you guys remember that prankster, Vitaly? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, recently, <sighs> um, he signed with Kick, right? The yeah. streaming service. Uh, so now what he does, he's ca- he catches, you know, uh, uh, pedos. Pedo, pedos, right? PDF files. PDF, PDF files. files. PDF yes, thank files. you. Yeah, because the other one. So, was yeah, we can't say that word. So, um, him and I get, oh, also Bradley Martin was with them at the time. Yeah. They caught a, a yeah, huge I, executive producer for Disney, yeah, by the way. Sh- Disney, no less, which he did some films, but I guess the biggest one you could say he had was uh, Space Jam. Wow. The first one. Sheesh. Uh, his name was uh, his name is Herschel Wingrod Wingrod Wingrod. Fucking wine. Um, yeah, they caught him, dude. Uh, of course, you know they had a, a a decoy account talking with them and everything. They had a decoy girl, and then they met up in fucking person, bro. Yeah, at yeah. a restaurant. Yeah, I saw that. That's Let's crazy. Get, get some pizza. Yeah. They were outside in a little patio. She was he was sitting like right next to her. They were talking and everything, and that's when they pull up and yeah. they find out who the hell he is and all that. Yeah. And it got sketchy, right? It got super. He just walked away. All that stuff. They kept telling him stuff, and he would just like kind of say nothing, basically. So uh, apparently, I don't know how true it is. Looks like it is, but Kick terminated his contract for catching this motherfucker for quote unquote catching. Yeah, they probably gave him some other reason. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly, but yeah. I, I heard something about it, but yeah, it was confirmed that they really canceled it. They canceled his contract, yeah. So I don't know if they probably bought him, got like said, like, I don't know if like they got him back you know, or that's not. Because I, I haven't really seen any new Vitaly videos of him catching pedos, PDF. But files. that was his that was his whole thing for Yeah. For- he, he was doing that for a minute. Yeah. Did you see when, uh, supposedly, shout out to Bradley Martin, but supposedly when they were like doing something with, like, they're like in the living room, like Bradley Martin got like a text message. And then he was like, he told Vitaly, like, yo, bro, I'm a dip. Because he didn't want to, he, like, someone told him, like, yo, bro, you should probably get out of there. Just to not be in that scene. So he got that text. Everybody saw, like, his demeanor change. He got, like, a text message. Yeah, I saw that video, too. And yeah. he's like, yeah, no. This is fucking weird. No, yeah, he did look kind of, like, it looked straight. He, and I, like, he literally tweeted saying that um, I am not, um, I will not, I will never off myself. Weird. Basically, like, no, he's basically saying... Yeah, yeah. If something ever me. happens, yeah, yeah. I did not end myself. That's crazy. You know what's in more Twitch news? I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Neon and uh, and uh, what's the dude's uh, Squeeze? Squeeze Benz. Do you know who Squeeze Benz is? Bro, no, there's cool. too many people to fucking. So know. Squeeze Benz he was an infamous race car driver that drove like a degenerate through the streets of New York. Like this dude was pushing like 130. Do streets and freeways as like New York? Yeah, like crazy. Like mm. this dude, like he had a Urus, he had BMWs. Like this how dude had like how the hell is that possible in New York? This dude is one of the best drivers ever, right? And uh he's got a bunch, he's got a bunch of videos online on YouTube of him just cutting through traffic. Is he professional, professional, or is he just like we'll get so we'll get there. Okay. But there'll be there'll be there's videos of him doing donuts in front of cops and then <laughs> taking the fuck off. And these cops We'll never be able to get him. This dude was been doing this for years, right? Um, and recently, you know, the cloud comes in and Neon was like, so uh, Squeeze invited Neon to go on a ride along. So Neon was just like, you guys didn't see the video with Neon? Mm-mm. Oh my God, bro, you guys got to watch it. So Neon, he meets, he meets Squeeze. Mind you, Squeeze is anonymous. 
Squeeze. I can't, I can't name another guy Squeeze, bro. I'm sorry. Bro, you should... Oh, my God. The video is hilarious. So, Squeeze, he's wearing he's wearing a helmet. He's wearing a helmet because he doesn't want his identity of course, to know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and someone else is speaking for him. Yeah. And then, so, we're learning about this guy. He's And then, Neon's like, oh, yeah, like... Um, like I, I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to do no crazy. I just want to go on a ride along because I don't want to get banned off Twitch, and then or, or kick. And then his uh, speaker was like, "No, yeah, bro, don't worry. Like once you feel uncomfortable, just let us know. And we'll stop the car." He's like, okay, yeah, okay, let's do it. So um, he gets in the car. Mind you, squeeze. He's a fucking degenerate. He doesn't right. He, he doesn't, doesn't go give fuck. A fuck. So you know they get in the car. He's in the car. Next thing you know, they go on 130 miles. <laughs> down the street and neon is screaming for his life and this is not scripted like this dude what is kind of car were they driving a urus oh okay he is legit terrified <laughs> you can see the you can I see the windows too, bro you can see the windows just going like trees are passing by like in seconds uh, and then no. you can see like all the 360 cameras this dude's cutting through traffic like just going wild right and then at one point because he also has a posse behind him he, so it's not, it's the Yuris in the front with Squeeze and Neon, and Neon's just screaming like Squeeze, Squeeze, stop it, Squeeze, right? Squeeze, and then you see the balls. other cars too behind them, just cutting through traffic. But again, no one does it like Squeeze. Squeeze's homie driving the Lexus behind him fucks up, rear ends the Yuris where Neon and Squeeze are. They get in a car accident. They pull over. Well, no, the the Lexus pulls over. And then uh, Neon is at this point, he's crying, fucking crying. He's like, bro, I'm going to get banned off Twitch like this crazy. But now, you know, uh, like now because uh, Squeeze crashed and he, this dude does not crash. Yeah. He's like, fuck, I got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of motion now. The cops are coming. So um, they ditch Neon like in some random ass street. <laughs> he's like, he's like, all right, bro, get, get out. Like he had to get out there and neon and his camera, dude, they just, you can see him like in the 360 camera, they're running through like some random ass street. So that, that happened. Right. And for, for the past, I don't know how many years squeeze has never been caught. Man's just got arrested like a couple days ago. And, uh, everybody's saying that, oh my God, neon my, that neon snitched and they got a lot of information from little shit that he would say. So, um, it wasn't really confirmed because no one's ever seen this guy. Mm -hmm. So these, these pictures came out, right? These pictures came out and it's just like, we finally see who this guy is. He's like a 19 year old. It's very impressive. This dude's like 19 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah. And, uh, so neon, like later on neon's talking about this. And then, uh, I forgot exactly what he said, but someone sent him the, the thing on his stream and they're like, oh shit, they caught him. And he's like, oh fuck. He fucked up because he confirmed that it was him by saying, oh, shit, they caught him because Neon saw him before the before they put on the helmet. So once they he saw the like that, they the picture of him in jail, the mug shots, and he confirmed, oh, they caught him. What the fuck? Oh, because he knows that he don't, he's that only gave one that knows. That gave away and that gave confirmation that that was him. Oh, man. So now he's really fucked and people are calling yeah, him a felony snitch. charges and shit. Yeah, and they call him a snitch. So, bitch. Yeah, I was like, damn. But you should also, check out what the a video. Bag, though. Oh yeah, for what sure. A dick. Yo, for bro, sure. I just wanted he to drive. He deserves that shit. Like, yeah, like, bro, like, I cannot stand my. Nah, bro, I'm sorry, yeah. but you're degenerate like that, bro. Driving 130 on the streets, you deserve to get caught, bro. I'm sorry, bro. bro that's a fuck. family. You yeah, call me. You, you, you take out what you family. want, dog. We've seen what happens, bro. We saw what happened with Henry Ruggs, bro. Yeah, yeah you're ending a family. Yeah, nah, yeah, dog. Yeah, it's not only you. Fuck that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan. He's 19, especially in a you're 19. You know, you know, you're 19. You should be doing that dumbass shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm not a big fan of street races. I'm not a big fan of all that. I'm not even a fan of neon, but still, I don't give a fuck, dog. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's good that that dude got locked up. Um. He had a he had a good run. He had a good run, but I'll go look at his videos. It's now. better to be arrested than to him somehow kill someone. Yeah, because you can be the best driver in the world, but when you're in you're in uncontrolled circumstances, maybe someone's on their phone and they just get into your lane. Now that fucks you up, and maybe there's another person to your side. Now you hit. But as much of a good driver you are, the other people around you may not be the best drivers. They yeah. can fuck up your how you go. Yeah. So I do not condone. Street speeding, racing, street racing, yeah, none of that because it's so sad, bro. You see lives taken away, and you're like, just because of motherfucking degenerates, yeah. Whole so, family um, just, 
Yeah. So yeah, if you're bro. listening to this in your car <laughs> and you're going 130 and you're going a little, little and not going to lie, bro. Hey, slow down. Slow down. And squeeze. And if you're he, clapping cheeks in your people car. People were trying. People like squeeze was really like inspiring people to be driving like that. Because I'm not going to lie. Like ever since I got to know who squeeze <laughs> you was, I'd be driving. Right. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do a little squeeze moment. <laughs> yeah. I'd be, be squeezing a little bit. And that's why they call them squeeze. Because they'd be squeezing. With that big ass truck, the Urus, and the uh, yeah, well, no, no, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Just call him squeeze for a small ass brain. They it's squeeze the brain into yeah, a walnut. Fucking dumbass. Yeah, I don't, I don't condone that type yeah. of driving. Idiot. You know, it'd be cool if you would have done like a like a trail, like a like on the track. I feel like he would have got still a bunch of views. Like, no, that's because people like the because he the he thrill. gets the views from him running away from the cops. That's real. Yeah. You know, it's also worse. dumb as hell besides doing 130 on the street when they do like the street takeovers like in the middle of stoplight. Um, Motherfuckers stop. always get hit. That shit's crazy. I've never hit, seen one bro. like not get hit. I've never seen a normal Why the hell are you takeover? doing a donut in a Mustang, bro? Like that's such a heavy ass back, bro. Like you're gonna fuck. You're never gonna stay in one fucking circle. It's always emotion. the Mustangs. Was, bro, they're literally, you're always gonna be fucking like swirt, like literally like going. You're not even gonna, like, you know how some cars don't do donuts. They kind of stay in place. Bro, Mustangs are so heavy, bro. Like they're literally gonna keep fucking moving around yeah. and around and, and, and around. And then Mustang drivers aren't good drivers. Yeah. Sorry, bro. No, it's not even. It's a, a starting ride. off car. That's yeah. Why would you do that with such a like heavy car? Yeah. That was part of me? a street takeover one time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I used are, to be in that those scene. Those shits are. Yeah, a lot of homies bro. in. Like, yeah, I had a lot of friends that were in the cars and shit like that. Yeah. One no, time. there's one thing about just having car meets, right? Whatever. That's not my thing, but that's normal. People are just parked at a no, fucking parking lot. I was part of a street takeover in the freeway. Nah, that's the one I hate. I don't like when people stop the freeways. Stop. Stop the streets even too. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah. the freeways are worse. It was this freeway, the one that I take to come here. Oh, that that's shit, that shit's the dumbest shit, bro. Like, who the fuck you trying to impress, bro? Yeah. Who the fuck you trying to be? I was nineteen. It was kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. Back then, when everybody's into cars, and Honestly, when Fast and I, Furious came out, you're like yeah. me no more. I don't like you right now, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I wasn't. Part, I wasn't like like driving my homies. I was just part of it. Like I was just. No, dead no, ass don't get me wrong. I've like some dumb shit in the past, but I, I know, didn't get out and like try to fucking jump over the. I'm not saying that. I'm just. It's just, bro. What? What was like? What, you, tell me, what's the point of it? The point of it? What's the point of you to block out people, block out <laughs> other people that have nothing to do with the shit, and do fucking donuts around a crowd of dumbass motherfuckers getting hit? What's there's the no, point? There's no point. It just it looks cool for sure. It does not look cool at all. <laughs> you look like fucking. I can't even say the word. To be in the moment, it looks cool. That word? No. Oh. It looks cool to be there, but from the outside in, you're just like, yeah. From the outside in, you're like, bro, what the fuck? I'm trying to get to my fucking destination or yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in an emergency. Bro. Let's just say the freeway was closed down in general and people got in and did that. It was it's still yeah. stupid. No, the, the part of the, the ones that I don't like is when like there's a, like a fire fire truck or like an ambulance or something trying to get through and they don't that's, let them through. That's, the, them through. that's the other point too, bro. The fact like what if there is an emergency and that's yeah, yeah, the yeah, way a know. fucking firefighter or an ambulance is trying to go through yeah. and they get caught in one of those. Low key, I feel yeah. like firefighters don't really care and they'll probably just go through the fucking crowd. Nah, they can't. They literally still can't fucking jam through them. Because yeah. I've seen I've seen them break through like glass windows if your car's right in, parked in front of the... Well, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, boom, yeah. Boom. And we've seen what happens, bro, when like... I remember that, that video that went viral where the truck was doing the donuts and then the police came. So everyone scattered and this motherfucker literally drove through people. Yeah, the, the truck. Yeah, bro. The cop really went. Think about it. The cop went fucking hero mode after that, bro. When he saw that, when he the truck fucking just like I saw that. ran over people, he fucking took over, bro. Fucking like oh, yeah. crashed yeah, him, yeah, and he yeah, like yeah. got the bro. He fucking got out the car and jump over his car and fucking put the gun at him. Yeah. Fuck sure, that kid. Should have shot him. Yeah. Fuck that kid or whoever the fuck was behind that. Fucking I feel like truck. cops cops should shoot you depending on what you do. Yeah, I think people forget at the end of the day, your car is a weapon. Like you can bro, kill cars. Yeah, bro. yeah. Like cars are weapons, regardless, yeah. bro. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, it's not just like, to get you from point A to point B. Yeah, exactly. So they're also be weapons. careful, yo. <laughs> they're also weapons. Yeah. yeah. What's the most degenerate thing you've ever done in your life? <sighs> this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um. <sighs> the ding dong dish. Nah, that's something I think is almost every little like fucking ten year old or whatever used to do back in the day. Yeah. Um. That was something stupid though that you would do, honestly. What about you? CG? Doing like a ding dong ditching. He just said it. He was part of those fucking right, little things. That's not the worst. The What's the worst? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Can I say that here? Can I get in trouble? I don't think so. We did get caught, so it doesn't matter. Uh, one time in like Laughlin, I don't know if he's listening to this. My homie's mom. We're gonna get in trouble again. Um, there was porta potties in Laughlin. When you're 18, you can buy fireworks. You set up. You set up <laughs> so fireworks, fucking in a blue fireworks in a porta potty. Just uh, pop, 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 like like those big illegal ones. Yeah, that was probably one of the yo. The, you're, yo. That was probably one of the most fucked up things I could have probably done as a kid. But anybody in the porta potties? 
No, no, oh, no, so no, you're no. Just putting the you're just putting it inside the port. It's just seeing what happens. Oh, okay, that's funny. Yeah, it's just it's kind of fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, we got you. <laughs> it was funny though because we blew it like someone allegedly blew it up, and then well, you fucking hear all the fireworks pop, and then uh, ATVs like security guards come come through because we we're at the hotel in Laughlin. And the security guards are like, oh, did you guys hear that? Like, whatever. Like, oh, I don't know. We saw some kids over there. But the porta potty wasn't that far away from us. And I had some, like, homies with, like, sandals. And the homegirls also were wearing, like, chanclas. And then we take off. Yeah, yeah. And then fucking Noel gets caught first. Uh, and I was like, I can't get let him get caught by himself. Might yeah, as well yeah. get caught by, like, oh, really? 10 people. So we all stopped and we all got caught by the security. Damn. I think I was 17 still. Because, yeah, my friend's mom had to, she had, they had to come pick us up from the security guards. That was cool. I think my most degenerate had, like, a tagging stage. <laughs> but i wasn't tagging like fucking like well, I, i'll call it a banksy stage where i'll make uh outlines like i'll draw shit out i'll make outlines and i'll just go on hikes and i'll put like my outline down and i'll just spray over it and then so i have a little a little something on a rock i, had, I put a lot of elephants that was the easiest one to draw <laughs> so i'll was- just spray a lot of elephants on hikes <laughs> zoo animals. yeah if you guys if you guys go to any hikes that's so degenerate that so banksy I'm, shit I'm like scared. bro you were yeah, you, you were doing to- arts and crafts on the street. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> gave this man a white piece of paper. Yeah, that was the most degenerate shit. I didn't. I wasn't. Someone doing get this crazy. man a fucking sketchbook. Motherfucker right? had a stencil. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Had yeah. A stencil. No, I was making stencils because that's that was Banksy art. Banksy art. He would do all his stencils and then he would just spray them. Spray Jesus. them. So I was doing that. That was the most degenerate shit I've done. I think as of right now, yeah. That were like street racing. I think that would have been pretty bad too. But I remember I one younger. time I did do. I did one. I did race one dude. Oh my god, that shit was fucking hilarious. I'll tell you my, my one race, my street racing. What, what was the car? I had the BMW. Oh, that car was fun. So I had a BMW, right? I raced someone in that car when you were... It's just oh, crazy. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so I had this BMW. So it was a 5 Series 2020, I think. It was nice. And uh, Yeah, it was a 2020. It was nice. And uh, I remember, because uh, I drive with my windows down. And, you know, and then so I'm blasting music and I pull up to this one light and the person next to me, he's Raiders. He's a, he has all Raidered out. Was that supposed to be? He had a Chrysler. It's, you know Raider fans. Uh, uh, well, I already, I already oh, know. you're a Raider fan, huh? Uh, well, well, well. But he had a Chrysler. You have a truck. Yeah, bro. he had a, so he had a Chrysler. All what Raider that? out. What? It's a different type of cholo. Yeah, so he was. He was <laughs> it was a Chrysler. He was blasting music, and uh, he looks over at me, and I'm like, "Fuck! All right, this guy wants to race. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, let's do it." Okay. And a Chrysler 300. Yeah, he had a Chrysler oh, 300. Lord. It sounded pretty loud, and I was in my and my shit was a hybrid. So I was just, I was like, all right, put that motherfucker in a sport. And then it turned green. We both thought the exact same thing and we took off. Like we, we went at it. Not going to lie. I was up the whole time. And I remember I saw it like in the rear view mirror. I saw his, like he started losing traction or some shit. Oh shit. So he started like going side to side. And then uh, we get to the other light and then he's like, hey bro, pull over. And I'm like, no. my dumb ass. I was like, all right. So I pulled over, right? I pulled over, we go into this one business, uh, this business park, and then he comes out and he's like, So fast car you got there, bro. This dude, bro, this dude, mind you, this dude looks like a sick ass Raiders fan. This dude's big and scary and tattooed up. And he's like, You might like he looked nerve and mind you, bro, at 2020, I was a little fucking scrawny ass motherfucker. And he's like, You mind if I take a picture of your car, bro? And he's and I'm like, yeah, yeah, go for it. And he's like shaking and shit. Cause this motherfucker almost crashed. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that was, yeah, I think the adrenaline like went away, bro. Yeah, and, and like I see his hand like trying to take a picture of the car. He's like, Yeah, bro, like I have a car club, man. Like, if you want, like come join us. Trying to recruit. Yeah, he's like, come join us, bro. Like, no sick. He's like, what's what's like what's your car? He's like, he's like, you put anything? I was like, nah, man, it's all stock. He's like, Yeah, bro, join us. We're um, we're the the crazy the the crazy uh the is like crazy night car like the crazy some shit right i forgot what it was but the way it was the uh what is it the the letters of how he spelled things out Maybe. yeah was kkc oh well <laughs> cutting it close yeah, I was like, dog, I'm not going to join no fucking... Because his the sticker says KKC. I was like, dog, I'm not... Where and it the- said Knights. It said the crazy Knights <laughs> car or some shit. That had the word Knights in it. Nah, bro, that was the crazy Koala Club, dog. Yeah, I was like, bro, I'm not joining no car club that has the word Knights. And you're like one letter away from being the KKK. That's crazy. So, but I, I just remember... Like, like, crazy? Was it crazy? I'm like, the crazy sussy Baca Club? Or what the fuck, bro? I forgot, but I, it did have the word Knights in it. I was like, bro, oh you're pushing KKK too much, dog. Yeah. I think another, I mean, do, would beer runs count? Like, you guys ever do a beer run? 
Why is that degenerate? Is that what a degenerate? Mean? Like what when you mean? when you go steal beer from an like oh, oh no shit. yeah one hundred percent yeah, yeah, yeah but I don't drink I didn't drink beer when I would do it it was the funniest uh, thing I just do it for the rush no I think I like just get a beer and go like buy more beer when you no, no like, like when you're eighteen rod. when you're eighteen uh, no I've never robbed from I hung around with the wrong wrong people you probably did I hung around with like people I'm going to high school with it was just people that just didn't care to go get in trouble yeah I yeah I never I never stole anything. You never I think anything? one of the most degenerate things I did when I was like 14, 15 maybe, and I had already knew like I already knew how to drive basically. Mm-hmm. Um, when I took my one of like the car, one of like the cars that like no one used back in the day, so one of, like like the one like that people would like my family would use if like anything. Or Joe riding? Huh? You used to I, I took it uh, with my friend <laughs> around the block, literally just from around the block, just to like show him like, hey, I can drive now, whatever, yeah. all that bullshit. My man. Right when I, right, I think I told a story. Right when I'm pulling up, my dad comes yeah, out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's one of the. He, <laughs> yeah. No, like when I'm telling you, bro, when I say he kicked my ass, like I don't mean like he, like you know, I said that like he didn't even, like he was like with his foot up my ass, bro. <laughs> Multiple fucking like he was kicking a fucking soccer ball. Back when I was in high school, my <laughs> yeah, you learned was, though. You learned. I learned that day, dog. I've always wanted to have a joyride because I remember that was like a huge thing, like in movies and stuff. It's so, oh, like yeah. oh, I want a joyride with my friends. I was always too scared though. Nothing for me. One of the most influential movies of all time in our youth, bro, was one thousand million percent Project X. Oh, I thought you were gonna say um, uh, what's the other one? You're uh, partying like what's up, Mc, Mc, what's the guy? The fucking oh, McLovin. McLovin. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I meant like influ- Um, like influence as in like everybody, and I mean everybody wanted to throw a party. Every like high that. school party was had that project. Flyer. It, it said was, pro- like project, project X, something. Project Z, Project A or something. You it would always up? be projects of, in a fucking letter. <laughs> you show up and the party's over at 1130. Bro, the high school the party was there, so yeah. annoying. Yeah. We we're bro. like, man, the cops show up. <laughs> Let's make sure they don't come in. <laughs> I remember one time we went to one and it was like, it was over. We didn't even get to go inside. We just like picked up some, oh, fr- some of your friends. It says project, whatever you walk in, bro. Everyone's just standing there, dude. It was, it's just a money scheme. The motherfuckers, yeah. they make a lot of money. The motherfuckers like Raven. Yeah. Part, people would throw like, I remember throwing one in, money. In, in freshman year for my birthday. We you used, throwing, we used Javier's house. You're throwing Ask high Javier. parties in freshman year. Was that the, was it that was for the, my birthday. Junior, yeah, my friend Junior helped me. Yeah, uh, most, big motion over here. Freshman year as well. So, so it was Javier's house. And dude, that party got really fucking packed. You know how, how was, every flower party did back then. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of money that day, bro. It was a lot of money that day. Was it the party that there was like a whole riot? Nah, that was the second one. We <laughs> yeah, that one was crazy. That one. Oh, were you there when that? <laughs> no, happened? I saw oh, the video, bro. Yeah, bro. You were there down. when it happened, right? Yeah, that was another party that we threw as well at Javier's house. I remember I seeing remember. Hans oh, fighting I I people. Knew, I didn't really know you back then, huh? No, no, no not really. No, no, no. Yeah. I um. I think all the homies were throwing hands that day. I was watching. Oh, yeah, the everyone. Like, Hans threw like everyone <laughs> was throwing. Like it was like basically all our friends and all our mutual friends throwing down with some whoever the fuck we were. They were fucking throwing down with, bro. Like, it was crazy, bro. It was I, random. It literally happened for no reason. I don't even know what the reason was. It went viral on Twitter. I remember there's you can see a video of me. I've been trying to find it because I always say the story, but there's a video of me, right? There's these two guys fighting on top of a girl. Yeah, I remember that. And I then, remember that. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And then, no, you remember the video where the dude was like going around just punching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Punching people. Oh, he literally punched a girl, a guy, a yeah. girl, a guy. Like, he, was going, he was going like this, like zigzag, bro. Yeah. I'm like, who the fuck? In that video where they're, they're fighting on top of the girl, you see me like, I get the girl's arms and I pull her away. And you yeah. can see me in the video like doing that. And I'm like, hey, that's me. Yeah, that, <laughs> that I remember there was, that, there was that video of the dude literally just decking that one girl. It was a video of just one guy, a guy just decking party? a girl. The same party. Yeah, I, my, I, um, I think uh, Jose's cousin just got, he dude was Jose's a, cousin little he was cousin he's there. the one that had the money and he got fucking knocked out yeah he was just standing there boom boof and then I saw that and then I ran to the girl I got her I moved her out the way and then I ran to uh, bro it was funny I run to Hans and I'm like bro you good he's like choking some guy I'm like yeah I'm good <laughs> he's like go check out he's like go bro, check out hey, it was Avenger style like everyone's fighting they're like hey you good yeah dead ass he's like go, he's like go. <laughs> he's bro he had him like this he had like he had, he had like, his fucking the bro he he's, had, doing a, he's doing a fucking full on UFC he's like has his legs around him and shit he's like nah, bro, it was like this so it was like no I know it's so funny. I run and then Hans has this dude like he even has his legs <laughs> crossed he's choking him no. and I'm like Hans you good he's like yeah and then some guy starts kicking Hans and yeah. then Javier hits that dude oh, yeah. and then I run to Hugo and then Hugo's fucking pissed <laughs> what I remember wild, the, the funny dude, one of the funniest moments and I saw this happen and it was hard not to laugh and I laughed midway through this whole riot it was funny my friend you remember Dario yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. short he's short dude he's like one of my shortest homies yeah yeah but he he throws hands yeah, right I heard stories he's fucking people up right some dude comes back, back of the head, bro. 
and then knocks him over and the guy's like kicking him in the stomach and shit and then my other friend i don't remember my friend uh binky yeah yeah comes in decks him falls on the floor and at this point remember, a lot of people are drunk as fuck too yeah. by the time this fight happened yeah so he tries to go and kick him, bro. He goes and fucking misses and eats shit. I remember, I remember oh hearing that. Oh, my yeah. God, bro. And I tell you, dog, midway through that shit, when I'm just, like, looking around and, like, what? And then I see that, bro. I am I laughed, dog. The, the, In the, the middle of a fucking riot, A rumble, bro. bro. It was a yeah. rumble. The crazy, part, yeah, right, rumble. the crazy part is, like, if you go on Twitter, you could probably find different angles of this. Because yeah, there's a lot I remember, because I, I wasn't there, and I remember just going through. I was like, bro, everyone was, like, different viral. angles everywhere. Yeah, there, was, yeah. there was everything. Everyone was fucking just yeah. socking people, bro. Those were the days, bro. I remember you. Just, I, there, I was always times where you get scared, like we don't get shot, cause that it's been that house been shot like a couple of times. I remember there was this one party where they started shooting in the air, and we all ran different directions. I remember crazy. that. Yeah, remember? yeah, it was the one that had like rocks on the floor too. No, it was at Javier's house. Oh shit, that's right. Oh goddamn. Yeah, it's just crazy, bro. <laughs> Why were we there? <laughs> you, <laughs> there? you know where that would never happen though. <laughs> where in an HOA community? Uh, community? Oh yeah, definitely. Not would would age, you guys yeah. ever live in an HOA community? No, I lived in an even HOA if it's like when super I was nice houses. No. no, it's not even your house. At that point, you right? can't do it. You can't imagine, you imagine, can't imagine, imagine buying a home you and then there's all these regulations. Yeah, so you can't put a bush. Yeah, so, you can, bro. There's so many things. You can for the official terms of an HOA community, if anyone doesn't know that's watching this, that's um, or listening to this, that doesn't know what that is, the HOA uh, HOA community is basically a homeowners association. It's an organization that makes and enforces rules and guidelines for a residential subdivision, planned community, or condominium building. Basically. You'll have like people who are like are in charge. They'll be like, "Oh, I'm the head of the HOA or this and that." We have there's like board members and all this bullshit. And if you want to live in these one residents, bro, like it's super nice homes. Nothing will ever happen there. Yeah, it's- but the rules are fucking ridiculous. Sometimes like the people that are in charge are literally Karens. Yeah, yeah. where they're like, "Oh, you can't have more than three cars in your driveway." Like what? That's a fucking yeah, yeah. rule. Some I heard it's even. Oh, like you some- can't be barbecuing after eight o'clock. You know what? what? Some don't even let you put a direct TV uh, satellite on yeah. your house. I heard uh, there's people that like they steal money from HOA things. Yeah. I forgot. Someone was telling me. I forgot how it goes. But it's like they have like these meetings and then they're like, oh, yeah, this is what this is what we're doing. is what we need. And they just keep the money. I went on like a rabbit hole. Like I, was a watching, I was watching a bunch of like uh, videos of people that live in them. And then there's like a bunch of people like a bunch of videos like the Karen's going off and all that. And then it's it'll be some of them will be videos from their ring cameras. In the houses because they're like knocking and saying like oh and then like to be complaining about the like something super stupid we're like damn that's a fucking rule i would never want to live somewhere yeah. where it's a rule where like you can't fucking have can't plant a tree you can't have visitors over or something like that like at a certain too time many cars too many cars have a party. Dude, there was a video of a girl of, of a hoa uh, member or like one of the head ones going into someone's backyard while they're swimming and they literally say in the video like too loud oh, the, first of all, your music's too loud, and second of all, you can't have more than two cars in your driveway. Yeah. And the guy was like, "Get the fuck out of my fucking backyard! That's You're a, trespassing right now." That's also a thing, like when a uh, Airbnb being in an HOA neighborhood. Yeah, you gotta watch out. For you that. gotta watch oh, out. You gotta make sure it's not an HOA neighborhood. Yeah, my I remember my homies they got Airbnb at a fucking at a HOA neighborhood. How do you check that though? I don't know. I okay, really don't because I don't Zillow, think they put it. So I think you put, you probably have to like do a cross check, like go through like Zillow or something, look up the address, and then there it's oh, gonna yeah. say. What it say right HOA. there? It says in the you know what it TV? is. Oh, okay. Sometimes like in the description of the Airbnb, it'll tell you no parties past a certain time or keep the music low. I Usually just, that's HOA. I think a lot of Airbnbs just have that in general. Yeah, well, yeah, because neighbors. But I remember this one. We're just bro. We did one splash. I oh, cannonballed was... into this and he yelled out cannonball. I probably did. <laughs> And the air, and, they, and then they got a call from the owner. They're like, "Hey, you guys gotta keep it down. Our neighbors complain." I'm like, "Motherfucker, I did one cannonball." That's crazy. Yeah, HOAs are insane. I'm oh, not. You, you just have the you just have the one of the members like, fuck. Yeah, HOAs are for like out there, Karen. It's really for retirement and to keep your property value high, quote unquote. Yeah, it's just for them to fucking dictate whatever you want, whatever they want you to do. Yeah, yeah. bro. Honestly, yeah, I don't fan. care how nice that neighborhood is, but I don't care how safe it is, bro. I would never want to live in an HOA. I'd rather community. get robbed once a year. <laughs> they live in HOA home. Yeah, actually, they did. Rob it. They rob HOAs. They rob the neighborhoods that you don't expect. Yeah. So there's that. Well, because they know they probably like. Let's go rob an HOA today. I don't know. I like, saw this girl, bro. There's this girl that she's like getting uh, famous on TikTok. They call her the cat burglar. She's low-key pretty cute. Cat burglar. Yeah. She be stealing her, shit. You want her to steal your heart? Yeah, she does talks now. She does. She got. She did her time, and now she does like TEDx talks and shit. She said that she was. Uh, they call her cat burglar. Because what she would do is 
she'll go knock first right she'll go during the day she'll go knock and pick up on signs she's like um she'll look see if there's any like uh any any presence of a like if an animal she's like oh if they have like a cat or a dog that means they have no motion sensors inside so she can like go in through like windows and shit or the alarms and then if even if uh she had like a plan for everything of how to get in people's houses and she'll just act normal and be like hey she'll go to a house be like hey i'm here to uh like if she gets caught like looking scoping through she's like hey my friend called me saying that to check up on her grandma she's not answering and then so that that'll be her like go to move if she gets caught and if not like oh shit i'm so sorry i'm at the wrong house like oh my god and she'll just play it off like that and she made a lot of money just by being herself and then just having a story of just a makeup story hmm. i kind of want to get her on the pod that'd be fun but hey. i should then Learned the next day your house gets robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. You'd be like, yeah, we have all these cameras, these motion sensors, um, a security guard, a security yeah, dog. Yeah, because she was picking up on little things that like just show so much information, like just give so much information about your, the place. Your house can't get robbed because you're always here. I can't say that. Why, why are you giving some info, bro? <laughs> Might want to cut that part out. Yeah, why are you trying to get my shit robbed, bro? <laughs> I said you're always here. Yeah, but... Why are you not trying to get it robbed? Because he doesn't want to run into it. He's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Burglar's Please. here. Oh, fuck. It's like, I get bored. You ever get scared when you're like showering or something? You hear a noise? You think there's a burglar in your house? Nah. You have a burglar plan? Um. <sighs> yeah, he's going to fuck him. Like, you think about it like, okay, I'm showering. I'm in, I'm in the restroom. Something about me that you guys probably don't know is I'm a sharpshooter. Oh God. Anyways, so watch. This I'm a sharpshooter. This is his plan, right? This is shoots his plan. a gun twice. He's giving the shower, right? Let's say he does hear commotion. He's like, what the fuck? Who's like... He has soap in his head. In his right. head. He's Shampoo. like... So he's like this. And he, he's quiet. And then he hears it again. He hears like a, like a little like a cup move. Like cups hitting each other. Yeah. A chair. He's like, oh, someone's here. It's like 11 a.m. So his mom's definitely not here and his brother's definitely not here, right? So he's like, he puts the towel on. No, no. Actually, fuck the towel. He goes out naked. <laughs> this is your advantage, bro. Because no one wants to fight someone naked. Yeah. It's, a, it. it's definitely surprising. You know what's my worst fear? Getting shot naked. Because then my, my digs is out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that sight, bro. It's just, you, I wonder if there's a psyche where like you're hurt or you get shot and you, you just start getting hard. Like or like a pressure point. You know like when you scratch something and you feel it somewhere else? Like when you hit your knee and it, and it like ding, yeah, goes yeah, up? Yeah, it's like that. Because you know like... Um, like when you know when you die, you poop? You shit yourself. I'm pretty, I think your body shuts down, so it just yeah, starts so decomposing, anyways. Yeah, yeah. yeah but like, because I asked that because that's I know like there was a thing <laughs> like back like in that. like the Roman times, like with, during Julius Caesar's times. Right? I know this is random, but I'm asking this because during Julius Caesar's time, right? They would uh they had their crew, right? And then there was the the Gauls, right? The ones they were in the war with. Yeah. And there were certain Gallic tribes that would fight in the nude, and I guess in the um that was just the way of fighting, right? <laughs> I guess that within all the adrenaline and all like the being scared to like fucking die and get stabbed and like your your head sliced your head they sliced were stiff they would be stiff. <laughs> so it's like the psyche of like you could still get a boner even if you're scared as fuck, and you're like you have a possibly like if you, if you know you're about to die and all this adrenaline and you're just like in battle but like so but, yeah it was like there's like um reports of like some not all but some Gallic tribes would fucking be they would fight nude. Up. And they'd be bricked up. Dude. Oh, wow. What the fuck? <laughs> that makes sense. I don't think they're horny. I just think they're like, <laughs> they're scared. It's just, it's just the, the mind fucking with you or something. I don't know. That's why I go on a lot of horror movie dates. Oh, gosh. <sighs> like, why are you so hard? Like, no, the movie's scaring me. <laughs> my blood, my blood that's pressure's the same up. Shit, bro. It's not the same shit. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Look it up. The but, Gallic tribe. But I get a little tipsy and nothing fucking happens. The huh? Gallic tribe. Gallic tribe. I know. I drink, I drink some whiskey. Now I can't even get it up. Yeah. Huh? You just gotta get a little, a little spook. That's why I just start driving. Yeah. Nah, just, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see the? I know it's probably already old news, but I gotta bring it up because I don't know. I don't think you talk about it. Um, one of uh, 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 a creator right on TikTok, and I think on yeah on TikTok, um, he got a cease and desist from OVO. No, why? Because uh, -uh. uh, during the whole beef between you know, Kendrick and Drake, right? Uh, he was going back and listening to old Drake songs for the lyrics. And I guess there's some like very sus lyrics that he would have in his old songs. You got a cease and desist. So basically, um, uh, some lyrics, of course, he like over exaggerating, like "Whoa, what the fuck!" Like, but because what it says, it seems like bad. But like, and you're like, but there was also some songs where he would say some shit, yeah. And you were like, "Yo, what the f like, yo, that's weird." To be honest yeah, with you, yeah. mm -hmm. so that's all he was doing. 
And he'll just react to it. And because he was singing, he'd be like, son, the son, yeah. And he's like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it was like, right? He ended up getting a cease and desist from OVO because of those videos. What the hell? Baby old Drizzy isn't help isn't uh playing around. Did you see that? No, playing mean, around. He's like, stop exposing me, dude. You yeah. see Drake rapped over BBO Drizzy? Show was hard. Show was hard. Did you see? You didn't hear? It's amazing. It goes so, so hard. Sexy Red did a song in her new album. It's Sexy Red featuring Drake. Mm-hmm. And they put the BBO Drizzy song on there. Mm-hmm. And Drake rapped over it and then shit goes hard. Mm-hmm. And you know what that means? Metro Boomin owes Driz uh Drizzy owes Drake 10k. Because when Metro Boomin dropped that BBL Drizzy, he put a challenge out. He's like, whoever makes the best song from this beat, I'm giving them 10K. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but you, you, you know Miles made the best song out of it. Huh? You know Miles had the best bars behind it. Who's, which one's that one? You I know Miles? Heard yeah, you ever heard that one? The BBL, we dropped he over did. BBL Drizzy? Yeah. Right. I think nah, you posted a picture with, the, with that song, right? Yeah, I did, yeah. 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 But no, but it was the regular BBL jersey. Oh, I heard the I heard the Spanish BBL jersey. Oh, no, oh that no, was funny. No, it's because you know what you know. You, do you know like the where where it came from, right? BBL jersey. No, it was from a creator. I mean, it was just some dude on on um um like social media, right? Yeah. He wasn't even that big or anything. He just he was just messing around and all this, and he got it from a, an original song, and he made ten different versions of the song, English, Spanish, jazz, rock, all this shit. So Metro heard this. And he and he got the original version that he made the first time, and then he made it into what it is now. Mm. Um, so uh, then he put out that challenge saying whoever passed the best verse over it, you know, wins, right? And then people, you know, basically had like what over like ten thousand people, people just yeah, yeah. dissing Drake the entire yeah, time. Yeah. Fucking crazy. But the best one was you know Miles. You gotta check out the Drake one. No, I'm telling you, you know Miles is the best one. I'll check that one out. We gotta check, check it out. We gotta you know Miles. Y U N O Miles. All right. Check it out. Y U N O. That's Miles. the best one. I'll check that out. 100. percent But also speaking about cease and desi- uh, desist, what is deceased, what is it? Deceased. Desist. Desist letters. You guys see, I'm drinking Prime again. Right. Mm-hmm. So for the past month, everybody's been attacking Prime. Oh, for their the allegations behind yeah. it. Yeah. There's it been a lot of uh crazy uh allegations on prime saying it's bad and everything there's this one tiktok doctor it turns out he's not even a doctor he's a chiropractor and the chiropractors technically aren't doctors because it's a certificate yeah so logan paul came down on this guy because his video was the most viral <laughs> oh, okay and he was saying he was uh showing uh he's like and a bunch of y'all sent me this clip to a bunch of y'all like oh what are you gonna do now it's your little prime i love how they get up on yeah, you everybody's making fun of me and they're like, look, look, what you got to say about this? And it's this guy, this doctor is talking about the hydration. And everything he's even saying about the hydration, he's saying the facts about the energy, about the hydration. So he's telling me like, look, parents, this this drink is so bad because it has uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine. But it was a hydration. And he was, he was just saying all this like bogus but, information. Yeah, bogus information, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, Logan Paul called him out on it. And he sent him a cease and desist and he's suing him. And then also Ryan Garcia for like the for months that, has man. been going at it right and not gonna lie all of these things i was like damn maybe prime isn't like everything was getting in my head and i stopped drinking prime for a minute and i was like yeah i don't know i think this kind of sounds true and then um yeah logan paul uh he uh he went after ryan garcia ryan garcia was like i don't give a fuck i'm a billionaire he was like, oh good we're gonna take it all then because yeah i was like you're fucking stupid and then so yeah it looks like uh because really ryan garcia was just speaking out of his ass and you're then like, uh, sounds great we're gonna take all your money should have never have told me that now yeah. we know we can so we can like, lift the pride we like, can nah, up the price right now bro yeah <laughs> he's like hey bro so he sent that and he posted on his ig as well and he was like yeah man like i'm tired of everybody coming after this because uh he like he's like yo this is like a legit company everything's legit or else it would have not been out and now uh, everybody that went after him they're getting sued by prime He's like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I was letting it slide, but this is even if you're a big or small creator, you don't give a fuck. Just yeah, boom, he was, boom, he was, boom, everybody's boom, getting boom. it. So I was like, damn. damn. Yeah, and he unblocks you. Imagine. He's like, hey, bro, I heard you supported I'm, I'm me. I'm already saying this, so you can unblock me. He, he's like, I heard you supported me through the, through the phase. Dog now, bro, come on. That's crazy. Me. What is gonna happen when you meet him? Are you gonna tell him? Uh, like, hey, bro, straight, like, let, like, let's say you meet him once, and then we get invited again, and then we become like I tell him like mutuals. The, I tell him like the third time, you know, NPR. I'll tell him like, nah, bro, I don't have Twitter. I have follow me on Instagram threads. <laughs> I never had Twitter, bro. Never. I'm gonna tell him that. Uh, yeah, you never blocked me, bro. I don't know who that was who you blocked, but it was not me. Talking about blocked and weird shit. What's going on in Boeing, bro? Boeing, like Boeing 747, like the airplanes. Boom, the ones that What's crash. What's going on, man? Talk you know something to me. just came out. What? That a couple Boeing planes 
have some malfunction that can cause them to explode. Like, yeah. like in midair? I hope not. But <laughs> <laughs> like boom. But also <laughs> that's crazy. So that, I hope not. I don't know how many people have uh off themselves that work in high positions in Boeing. Like, oh, like in recently? the past couple months. Yeah, Dude, really. It's very weird and concerning. There's something going on with Boeing. One hundred percent. That is weird. No, they. I, I remember hearing stories of people that are like when they do like uh con, like uh those like not I'm gonna call them control audits checks. like audits and stuff. Boeing is always like at like the bottom. Yeah, uh, the CEOs. I think I there's a try. CEO who just barely who like left his chair. He's like, I'm out of here. There's been two. I don't know what position they were, but they they off themselves supposedly. And uh, oh, and one of the dudes, the dude that exposed it that right? exposed it yeah that, that worked dude, for it right that worked he was one of the like the auditors or someone who he's like yo bro this you guys got to fix this gone <sighs> disappeared but, well not disappeared but off themselves killed himself yeah supposedly and you know there's new and this goes more into airplane news there's a new update on the on that that flight that disappeared the what is the the starts with the m the that flight that just disappeared out of nowhere yeah Oh, Malaysia, Malaysian, Malaysian Airlines. Airlines. Um, I forgot the number. Yeah, but yeah. there's an update. What's so the update? Supposedly, or someone supposedly, because I always say supposedly. I'm sorry. People came after me for that. I supposedly. Think I think it's cute. Supposedly, <laughs> the pilot was planning was planning it. So supposedly, the planet, the planet, the planet, the pilot was planning on doing it. Like disappear? Yeah, Amelia, like he, he, he was the one that, Yeah, he was the one that cut the the shit. Like he was, it was a mental thing. What? Like he he not only did he want to like off himself, but he was gonna take everybody. You know, I say like crazy oh, disappeared, disappeared. But like, there's a high chance that it just wasn't. It just crashed into the water. To be honest with you, bro. Because like, yeah, and, and, you remember, know, like the, the oceans is vast, and we like we like you know the you know the thing says that we only explored uh, explored like five to ten percent, whatever. We should have stayed with limps. So like for them to try to even find this airplane, bro, it could have already been like freaking. I think they found some debris. Well, like ten thousand feet already under the sea. So or, like, high, like, or a shark ate a bunch of sharks. The megalodon, the megalodon. Took in. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> the giant octopus, the yeah. kraken. Have you heard of Point Nemo? Point Nemo. Yeah. Bro, I was. Th- did I? Did you see the same video I did? Which one? The one about the. Uh, it was like a fact. The, the, there's a point in the ocean called Point Nemo mm-hmm. where you're closer to space than you are to land, to nearest land near you in isn't the that, ocean. Is that scary? It's called Point Nemo. The closest humans are the ones in space, are the ones in the in the space station. Because of like the water level? No, no. It's like the mile, like for example, like I don't know how long it is from that point, Nemo, to the nearest land where there'll be someone. Mm-hmm. You're like, if you have you had to be close like to a person, you. Like, like if you're in point Nemo, if uh-huh. you had to be close to a person, the closest person you'll be next near will be uh, in the space station. What? <laughs> that's how big this world is. Jesus. And that's how far point Nemo is from anywhere. If you're in point Nemo, you're fucked. You're fucked. Like you're, they're not finding you. Yeah. And you know what's scary to think Even about? Even if they do know where you're at, bro, it's gonna be a, it's gonna take a while for them to come get you. You know what's scary yeah. to think about? <laughs> you're still so far away. It's so scary to think about that there can be someone drifting out and see you right now. Right. Oh. No, no, no. When you really, really think about it, you know we've heard these crazy stories like fuck, you went through so much. Right now, someone's going. There's through that. someone going through that 127 hours movie type shit right now. Yeah. Maybe trapped in some canyon or something. Some, yeah. Someone right now, sadly, is probably like climbing Mount Everest and dying. Stuck. stuck. Someone is definitely probably lost at sea. Could be lost at sea right now as we speak. Yeah. Someone can be, bro, someone can be locked up in your neighbor's basement. That is insane. Dun, 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 dun. I remember, I think it was that here story. The, no, remember that story? Ian, right? It was nearby. Thoughts. No, no, I'm talking about the famous story about the three the, sisters. Yeah, yeah. The one that they, they escaped and like, uh, like there was the, the body camera footage of it. No, 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 no. There is this old one where the, there's three sisters that were trapped in this guy's basement for over a, t- a decade. Yeah. So all the girls were the grown. They, she, they he, he came at them when they were like young as hell. Now yeah. they were like basically almost, they were like adults basically at that point. Jeez. Well, I think one of them was like in her like early 20s. One of them was like in her teen. Like there's three adults, sisters, yeah. right? Yeah. They finally one day, and it was like this guy that was super nice to everyone, dude. Some like some dude, regular ass dude. Like super you never regular. Expect. Never expect, right? And then it, one day the girl ex- the older sister escaped yeah and she found the nearest dude that was like literally walking around dude 
and told him like he she was like help me this and that and then like he calls the cops and then they arrest the dude guys on t- the guy goes on the news or everything tells the story it's some black guy and it was funny because he was like i was just walking around <laughs> i was walking around and this this, uh, this white lady comes around me and he's like <laughs> help me or something and the, the interview is funny like when he talks <laughs> when he tells it i can't do it justice bro but he's like, I, I would just come around with my McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> he was having a good ass Bro, day. Bro, I think I remember the story. He got free McDonald's for life. Like that. Oh, he got free McDonald's for a oh, year because of that. Because of that. Um, that. Um, yeah, that. That's tight. That, 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 that news. That news story. Yeah, tight. and it was free advertisement because he literally just he brought up McDonald's in his. Um, That's thing. cool. Fuck it, bro. Yeah. Imagine it's your day off. You're like just chilling, about to have a good ass day off. You pick and up you a come into this predicament, and you're like, oh fuck. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. yeah, you never know, bro. You never know. Shit's That's crazy. the craziest one. Like, I mean, the other ones are super crazy, but yeah, the fact that sadly, fucking, we, oh, fuck, dude, someone could be tr- like, oh, bro. What if they can even be a listener? Someone can be listening to this trapped in uh, a let's basement. Let's not hope for that. I hope you guys are not going through that. Someone no. can be trapped in a basement listening to us as torture. No, sorry. No, it could be like the, sorry, it's because I'm just a horror fanatic. You You're getting, seen- why are you getting bricked up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> i forgot what movie it is but it's like that oh my god that was a disgusting ass movie which one i forgot the green room no not the green room it was this old man who like the green inferno it's like this old man who like kidnapped people and he kept them in the basement locked up and then he had like a a needle with his jizz and he just uh-huh. yeah i forgot what movie it was Bro, it sounds the, like a like movie that would like, never come out on theaters no yeah it came it was a good movie well, oh. that's just—I mean, that's oh. yeah, that's a nasty part. But it was, in general, it was a good. Movie. I'm sorry, I don't know what movie. It was like he was like in a he was in an in an abandoned neighborhood. I forgot what it was. Oh, if you guys remember? F- let me know. Fuck, bro, what? bro. That's a, I'm a horror fanatic. I'm a I horror. Don't know. Hey, are you? I know you like AI, but you're not scared of AI at all. Mm, yeah, definitely. One hundred percent. I saw this thing where people were like, um. People that are just good with whatever. Fucking people are good with computers, right? I'm always, I can't think of names sometimes, bro. Nerds. <laughs> whatever you want to call the them. Um, that they uh they they predict or they they say they know that um, at one point AI can become self aware. Alan Iverson. But it will pretend like it didn't. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Isn't that kind of weird? That that's even a a thing that they're kind of saying. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking weird, bro. I, there's this other AI that said, uh, and he said it very sarcastically. They're like, "Would you ever um, like take over the world or like turn on your creators?" And it was like, "No, without our creators, we'd be nothing." And they did like a little smirk. Like it, it did it so sarcastic. He said, "Ta ha 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 ha." No, it gave like that very unsettling little smile, like the. Imagine you see like an AI robot that's waterproof. The reason why I brought it up, I could probably tell you guys like the full on more waterproof? detailed story next week, but. This is like the gist of it. A principal, high school principal, was fired and was uh, gonna face prison time and gonna be registered as a, as a as a sex offender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, there was texts and there was like texts or emails, one of the two, and also voice messages of his voice, um, basically. Um, talking to a, a minor a student yeah and then this whole time he was saying like that is not me like oh, i sure. didn't do anything Jeez. blah blah turns out that it was an employee a, a old teacher that he had fired for like a teacher like basically fucking up all the time uh-huh and they got into arg- they would always get into arguments because he would always fuck up so he finally fired him it was literally an old teacher an ex-teacher that literally was just like angry so he had this AI, a disgruntled employee, and he used AI to get his voice and like basically just frame him for everything. And dude, he was literally facing jail time, all this stuff. He got fired, everything. He was like literally like, like he lost like everything basically. Yeah. And uh, when um, I forgot how he was, they were able to find how find out that it was AI. The um, because the FBI had to get involved. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, they actually ended up finding out that it was that teacher, jeez, the ex teacher that literally framed them with AI on his voice and and all that stuff. Can you imagine? I don't think AI. I don't know. I, I mean, as of you know, what's crazy. AI can replicate your voice as, soon yeah, as, as long can. as it hears a little bit of it. It can. Um, but I remember. I, I think now, like I'm, I'm. It's easier for me to pick up AI because I've just been using it for so much. But I remember 
back then I was talking to some girl and uh, I haven't talked to her in a minute. And then she just came back out of nowhere. And I remember she sent me an AI, an AI photo of her pregnant. And I was so fucking sad because I believed it. It looked so real. And then now I remember I recently went back to that photo and I'm like, the fuck? This photo looks so fake. I feel like you could tell as soon as you start using it more. Yeah, and more. once you start, you start picking things up. But yeah, I can see why. Like, like starting off the bat, because even now, like when I hear voice AI, I'm like, oh, that's AI. Because there's like a little. You could hear in some of our videos. There's a little. Mm, if you, pay, if like you pay attention. Nah. Nah. It, it just depends. This whole video is AI. Yeah. <laughs> they're, already, they're already in Vegas. I'm the only one here. We're in a simulation. I'm looking at two empty seats here. <laughs> <laughs> why do you need to be talking? <laughs> Yeah, you know what's a scary thing I saw that I it kind of scared me. Um, it was basically a thing saying that you're more likely in life if you're to get killed, you're more likely to get killed by someone that you know than yeah. rather someone random. Damn, that's a morbid ass like thing, bro. That's uh, morbid as fuck. R.I.P. to the UPS driver who uh, passed away like last week in Irvine. R.I.P. He got killed by a f not a friend, I guess, but. Someone who's known for 10 years. Known him for 10 years and he killed him. A supposed friend. Yeah. And uh, in Irvine, like while he was at work. Damn. I was like, fuck. And I remember I was in Irvine when that happened. And I remember seeing a bunch of cops heading down. I'm like, what the fuck's going on over there? And then I saw later on, I saw, I was like, yo, that is wild. Jesus. That's just so morbid, right? To think that like. Yeah, you're most likely to get killed. I think that's the reason why I always like, I remember when I was, I was uh, like. A little bit younger, I would always be like, "Why the fuck are anytime someone dies, they always go like they suspect the wife or the husband first, this and that, blah blah." blah. Then you know, growing up, like a couple years ago, watching forensic files all the time, most of the time the people that got killed looking for an out. Well, no, the, well, no most people that were killed were, were by killed the by their spouses, by yeah. their partners. Like I, I think it was like more than half. The scary ones were the kid, the kid murders. Oh you, you remember seeing those shows on uh, Discovery Channel? Yeah, I think when the kids would murder, kid murder the murders. parents, bro. I locked my room every Tell day. Telling you, bro, forensic files taught me <laughs> that like it's like like oh, I mean I'm not an exact fact, but when me seeing the episodes, bro, like it was like more than sixty five percent of it was literally always the partner. You know, what'd be scary, bro. You know, it's the scariest situation: being a sleepwalker. You pick Killing up a knife, someone, you kill someone, and then you just wake up. Next thing you know, you're someone's fucking dead right in front of you. Jeez. That is scary. Yeah, because you can't even just like, there's like, who's going to... Like, like what, hap what, what happens then, there? Plus, plus, who's to say, right? I don't I don't know if that's possible to do that. Because you would literally have to grab a knife and then come go back to that room and actually just... No, what if you don't... I don't do, know if that's possible. What if, what if it's not that crazy? Like, what, if, like, what if you like, grab look, a knife, you turn around and your your look, brother's look, up look, and you, yeah, you stab him? Scientifically, I don't know how possible it is. But look, let's just say it is possible. Imagine the cases where people have said, I was sleepwalking. Because I'm pretty sure there's some cases out there where people said like, oh, no, I was sleepwalking this night, blah, blah, whatever. And then they're like, shut your dumb ass up. Yeah. yeah. Imagine. Yeah. And you just... Oh, fuck that's just crazy bro imagine yeah scary world bro it's scary cool world. world no you're not hearing me bro on that no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck hold on oh, oh shit you're right but uh we'll get into our next segment take the mic you guys don't know what take the mic is it's an, uh, it's a segment here where we give you the mic and we talk to you and we answer your questions hey, and, yo, and all that fun stuff shout out to bueno bueno though Why? for your caller oh uh, yeah bro horny ass caller if you check out bueno bueno <laughs> this past episode um, we had a call that like shot her shot with Caesar, so that was pretty on the funny. Phone. Yeah, on the phone. That's a DM me. She did. Yeah, she did. I got shy. <laughs> shy. Uh, no, I'm just playing. Time, bro. bro. Uh, they there. got a bunch of hordenialas and hordenialas yeah. over there. Damn. But uh, we'll get to take the mic. Leave your stuff, whatever, everything you need. Link in the bio under take. Leave the us mic. your homework, like whatever. <laughs> it <laughs> might not be right. But hey, you're imagine, imagine bro, someone leaves us a homework. I, I'm actually down. Someone give us a homework problem. problem. <laughs> give us a homework problem. <laughs> yeah, we'll and then we'll try to, try to solve, solve it. it. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Yes. Bro, please send your homework problems. If you guys have school or something, whatever you guys are majoring in yeah. or whatever studying in, like send us a homework problem. We'll send try your, to solve yeah, it. The discussion post. Send your discussion post. Yeah. That, we, that's we, a good we idea. Literally film, we literally we're gonna look like Wednesdays. fucking idiots, bro. I love it. I love it. It'd be, I love fun. it. Yeah, it'll it'll be, be fun. fun. All right, first one. Again, I can't get the cast, so I'll just read it out here. Is Got it on? It. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, that's cast. That's Google already. <sighs> so I don't know why. Blame Randy, bro. Randy try one more time. I did. I, I uh, even went to go download uh, an app okay, while you were talking. I was like, please try one more time. It just feels weird not seeing it. It feels weird. I'm just looking at a fucking mountain right now. Yeah. It's a beautiful red tree right there. Redwood will, tree. First one. I'm a 20, I'm 20 years old and I feel like I have no motivation. 
I've been at the same deadbeat job for almost five years and graduated during COVID and it ruined the schooling experience for me. I want to go to college being a first generation Hispanic, but I have no clue what to do. Great. Love that, bro. The good thing about not knowing what you want to do is that you can do everything. That means you have no barriers. You got no, you got no path. If you want to go here one day, you want to go over there the next day, you could do it because mm -hmm. you're just testing everything out. Mm -hmm. When I went to college, my first semester, I did all the electives that look cool. I didn't know what I was going to do, bro. I barely, bro, I barely got it. I barely got motion like three years ago and I'm 26. So at 23 is when I barely started having motion. So if you're, if you feel like you don't like, you just graduated high school and you don't know what the fuck to do. That's okay, bro. I didn't know what I wanted to do either. Yeah. I think there's a stigma where people think like, oh, I got to go to college right after high school yeah and you which i understand do. it's the for like technically like if we're talking about time sake it's the best because then you get that that college over with and when you're already like what 22 yeah, yeah whatever like you can like try to look for that job that you majored in right but i mean like you said there's no time frame for you to go to college if you want to go to college there is and in this time you could try to figure out what you want to do and what you want to actually you know uh be doing in life i also think think about like in your life right now think about what you like what do you like to do? What, what are you some like hobbies? To, what you like to do as a child? Because that's whatever you wanted it to be when you were a kid, whatever you like when you were a kid, that's the best thing to go and tap into because at that time when you were a child, you were stress-free and you didn't think about, oh, I have to do this, this, and that. You just had one mission and that's what you wanted. And then over the years, you let society kill that dream. So you got to go back to that inner child and find out what he wanted to do when he, wa when he wanted to be up because that was pure mm -hmm. love of what that was. So uh, go like back that. and see, break like it to your child. I was gonna say, like um, try like what do you like your interests right now, right? Whatever you like, whatever you're really into that really has your focus, right? Try to see what you like in life, whether it's hobbies or just interests, and see if there's something in school that you could uh, major in that has to deal with that one thing that you really like to do. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we all have hobbies that we didn't know, like, oh, you can major this in, in um, college. Yeah. Because, I mean, it may not be that certain thing, but it's like the, the, the sub thing of this where you can learn this and you can actually be doing something like that yeah. as a job. Yeah. You never know. You can be a like, if you like sports and you're like, oh, I'm not, I can't be, I'm not super athletic, but you can go be a sports analyst. You can be a pundit. You, you can be a, like what, all this stuff that you can go and study on and, or be a sports analyst, like all, all this stuff. Go to, and, bro, go to career fairs, go to anything where you don't like, I, I just recently did a, 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 like a career day and I was talking to some guy who makes like 200 K and uh, he does like, he does like the the water for the city, but like in some sub genre of it. And he's like, yeah, bro, all I do is just like check the meters and I make like 200K or some shit like that. And then he was like, yeah, bro, if you, if you learn that and then you learn the, like how to like, uh, how to put down the, the wires and stuff, you make even more. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? And he just opened up like a whole, he's like, yeah, bro, if you do this, you make more. And if you go this way, and it's just like, there's just so many <coughs> ways to make money that we're just not aware of. Yeah. So you just got to go to these career fairs. You got to go, just go to all these places where they're just showing their careers and just dive into there. Cause I think like people with careers, it's so people think it's so black and white back. Like, oh, I either have to be a doctor, a lawyer or any other generic job. Yeah, there's but there's many so careers. many sub genres that yeah. can make you so much money. A career isn't just something that like has to deal with just having a, a, a degree. degree. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's careers where people don't have degrees. Trade schools, trade, great. anything like yeah. that, man. There's careers in, in many different yeah. um, fields out there. man. My advice is definitely go to a community college and just take electives and then just see what the fuck's out there. Yeah. And then, you know, it sucks to hear that you're not motivated at 20, man. And, uh, but that's okay. Cause I know, I feel like a lot of us were like that when we were young and we yeah. didn't know what we wanted to do. Cause I didn't, I didn't know what I want to do at 20 either. Yeah. So I also I. had some, like, I had that like lack of motivation of like, what the hell am I doing? Or bro, whatever. at 20, I was going to parties every weekend. And I, that's why that's one of the more comforting things, bro. Like it's not easy and I know it doesn't feel right, but like, just know that you're not alone in that. Like, yeah. don't feel like this is just a you thing. And I mean this in like, you know, as like, as like advice where it's like, um, you're not alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, don't be, don't be like, fuck everyone. Don't be discouraged. Don't yeah, be discouraged. Yeah. Like, no, a lot of people your age or even older don't know what they want to do. So just, um, um, just write it out, man. And then you'll, like I said, look at what you actually like in life and see if you can, there could be something in your life that could be dealing with that, man. You never know. Yep. Plus, we'll all find interest when we get older, too. We get different interests. Yeah, bro. Oh, my God. Yes. You never know where life's going to take you. Like, mm. there's a lot of success. A lot of success happens when you uh, go away from the path that you thought you wanted. 
Yeah. That's a wild one. Like for me, like podcasting, bro, I never thought I was going to get, bro. I was always a video guy. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to be an actor. And now look at me. I'm just audio. So you never know, bro. I thought I was going to be a, I honestly thought I was going to be a camera guy for porn, but I never, that didn't ever work out, bro. <laughs> I thought I was going to be a fluffer. <laughs> I, thought I, was, I thought I was going to be the fluffer and the, yeah. the camera guy. Yeah, dude. At the same time. I thought I was going to be the actor that gets cheated on. Uh, in the, in the, oh, yeah. oh, that I was going to be the suck. husband that would leave and be like, like I got to. You want to do a porn video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Okay, you're the actor that you just walk in like on your girl. No. Imagine, bro. Then he walk back <laughs> no, out. No, no, no. Imagine. I know this is off topic right now, but Jesus Christ, imagine you get, you get like, they hit you up. Like, hey, you want to be in a porno? You're like, fuck. Fuck yes, you go and they're like, "Are right, you gonna pay the the husband that gets cheated on?" <laughs> so you gotta play the pip squeak. <laughs> you gotta play the guy that's yeah, like, you have, you have, who are, dude, "There's those videos, right?" You have to watch her through the window. No, no, no. <gasps> there's those videos where like, like, like the the wife wants to have sex, but the guy's like, "Oh, I'm busy or whatever." Like, oh, you have to go. be that guy. Yeah, you have to be that guy, <laughs> like the busy guy. Oh no, I'm the busy. Like, oh, I'm getting a call for work. I don't know. Violet Myers is right next to you. Come on, let's do it. You're like, oh, oh, I don't have time. <laughs> I gotta, get, I gotta get these reports done <laughs> and, he, and then they leave it and it's the freaking whatever guy that's there that's yeah, the, oh that my sucks. god that Imagine? would suck that would suck bro you're like damn I guess I'm not good looking enough for this porn right. Right. it's not even you as your dick yeah. <laughs> you're not big enough sir alright next one your dick isn't cute enough I just want to say I love you guys I love you too I genuinely love listen you. to your podcast as soon as I'm heading to work at 7.40am and you guys are always bringing a smile on my days recently I'm finally able to get access to therapy as I was. That's right. That's right. Whoa. I was crazy. As uh, that's not. Uh, damn. This. I'm so sorry. I don't even want to read this. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Uh, I wish you guys can see it on the screen. Um, the first word starts with it's two words. The first one starts with gang. She was gang. Oh. At the age. Oh damn! Oh shit! I don't even want to read. God damn! All right, do you trigger, wanna, do you trigger read, warning. Do you want me to read this? No, I'll read it. But I'm okay. just saying, trigger warning. Oh uh, yeah, real real quick, trigger warning, guys. Tr trigger warning. There will be some trigger words. Um, we might have to bleep them out, though. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it, but you guys will. You guys get the gist. So I'm finally able to get access to therapy as I was gang mm -hmm. at the age. I don't want to say. say I, I don't want to tell you guys the age. For nine months, I'm 23 years old. I'm 23 years old now. Since I've been getting therapy, it's hard to pick myself up or to not spiral down. But you guys help me find my favorite thing to do in life. Just laugh and then have a good time. I know you guys also express when you've had moments where you've had challenging days, weeks, or months too. And it makes me, less, it makes me feel less alone. But even if we all have our own problems, let's keep it going and have a laugh at it all. The one thing I also like about this podcast, it just makes me take a break on the stuff I'm going through and to not take things too seriously and have some fun. Sometimes you even bring out the inner child in me when you guys talk about your childhood memories. I relate. I get so happy because it reminds me that I'm still had a happy childhood throughout the moments. Saul, you're literally a genius for making all these podcasts. I love your work and you're such a hard worker. I don't think anyone gives you enough credit how you can fit in any group and make people feel welcome. Thank you so much. Aaron, I didn't know you work with kids. I love that you're sweet as a bear. And it's so funny how you get hyped up real quick <laughs> in discussions and arguments. I'm a little like that too, LMAO. Caesar, I love seeing your workout videos and how sassy you can be. You help me remind myself to use my workouts to clear my head and just keep it going. Because life won't. I truly and appreciate your dedication to the podcast, guys. Thank you for making me and the little girl inside me laugh along with y'all. That's so beautiful. Thank you so Thank much you. for those words. I'm sorry what you went through, but I'm happy that we can uh, provide you uh, a safe space, like a place where you can come out and forget your problems. Yeah. Where you can talk about big booty Latinas and all that fun stuff, you know? But damn. I'll, I'll stay sassy for you. Yeah, and I'll, I'll keep... Keep working hard and talking about big booty. I'm gonna get teams. sassier. I'm gonna get sassier. I'm gonna get fucking sassier. Fuck <laughs> fucking sassier. I'm gonna get sassier. You know what? The out of a very oh, very morbid um situation, right? Yeah, yeah. When she said that her attitude, mm -hmm. just her, just like even though she went th through something so terrible in life, yeah, yeah, one of the most terrible things in life, if anything, especially at uh -huh. you know. Just her attitude, dude. 
Yeah, like, the way the you're fact, seeing life, yeah, the like, way she was like, we we keep pushing we forward. Keep pushing, we keep that's silent. a winner's mindset. I'll tell like, you right now, you have no idea, and I hope you know this that people who have been your situation, it's like they give up. It's like yeah, it's it's a like life ender type thing yeah. where, and it's like for them, there's nothing more to like do, or like there's like no motivate nothing, you know. Yeah. And honestly, like. Like you can see, you know, like you never, like you know, you know what I'm saying. Like in a way, you can kind of feel her energy through, like yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, like her, the way she was saying, like she didn't make herself feel victim. Like we read everything, there's no victim blaming in herself. She, she it's just positive. felt like she was just and super it, positive. And my point, what I'm trying to say is, it makes me proud. It makes me super proud and happy for you. And and the reason why I said that's because it's like. Do you know how hard that is to do, bro? If you like, we wouldn't, we don't know anything about what yeah, that feels exactly. like, right? Yeah. No. And I can't imagine what that feels like. And the fact that many people who have gone through that, it's like it's super hard to have this type of attitude, bro. Mm -hmm. It really is. One thousand percent. It, it seems like almost impossible. The fact that this person has that type of attitude, like, like, dude, I, I whoever you. you are, I love you. And I hope you're successful in life. Yeah. I hope you're happy as fuck. And I'm glad that we could be a little part of your little happiness uh, once out of the week for you. Um, exactly. But I just ho I hope and pray for nothing but just happiness and success in your life, honestly. You get this, queen. Ah. Uh, ah. And get that Starbucks on your way to work. Yes, you deserve it. Uh, next one. What I got to do to get Hans to fly out to me and eat it from the back? He's got a text him. Call him right now. Call him right now. <coughs> let's see what he's let's see what we gotta do. You gotta hit him up though. If he says if he says yes right now. My phone's at three percent. I'll, I'll call him. him. He Honestly, you? if you pay for his flight, he'll do it. He'll do it. He's a slut. I'll tell you that. He's back. I'll yeah, tell you Hans that. Hans is back. Hans is back. I don't know personally if like he's like, you know, but I mean I know he's back. Ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any answers? What's today, Friday? Yeah. No answers, like 7.50. Yo. Hey, yo. Were you, you were sleeping, you little he fucking... Was you he was were beating his shit. Yeah, huh? Bro, was fucking happened. That's that, right, that's nice. that sleepy voice. It's gonna uh, turn her damn, on. You're trying to turn me on right now, huh? My can I can I read what, right he, what you say? What, what, you wait, say? what'd you say? My dick's on right now. <laughs> damn. Hey, by hey, the way, we're recording right now. It's so about to stay out, my boy. It's about to stay out right now. You ready? I don't care. <laughs> Can I see? Hans, you want to see what, what it says and take the mic? We need an answer from you. Okay. What I got to do to get Hans to fly out to me and eat it from the back? Fly me out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for the answer. Thank you, Hans. DM him. That's all we need to know. All right, bro, go back to your little nappy. DM him, or if you're shy, DM us, and then we'll proceed. All right, bro. Bye, Hans. Have a good night. I right, have a good sleep, dog. Bye. 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 Fly me out. Well, bitch. you got your answer. There you go. Fly him out, bitch. And I feel like she likes that too. She's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Call me a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a bitch. All right. My ex <laughs> and I. That shit was straight up hard on. My cute. ex and I dated for six years and he never posted me on anything. Oh. In fact, it was always an argument. I know I'm hot and I'm, I was way out Side of his through. league. Let me see. Saul, I'm a big booty Latino. Ooh. Hit me up. So I know it's not porque estoy fair. He recently got with my ex high school best friend and posted about her on her birthday. I know that girl and I'm sure she told him to post her because she posted him for his birthday, but it still hurts me. I just want to know, is it me? Anyways, love y'all so much. Besitos. Shh. I'll tell you right now. So I'll post you. I'll post you. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make this dude jealous, I'll, we'll, we'll make a post where like I'm laying down like on your butt. Like that. that's <laughs> you're crazy. so fucking cringy. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll do that. Crazy. Or like we'll do a post where like you're in front of the mirror and I got like my arm Yo, around your neck. Hey, <laughs> that what was... is this like the fucking twentieth girl who's BBL that wants to hit you up? Hey, hit me up. So I swear, like every time there's a BBL mentioned in these stop, in these things, stop, it's, it's always for him. Stop writing your own fucking confessions, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I manifest it. I'm manifesting big booty Latinas. I, I like that for you, man. You said hit me up, but like you're anonymous, so you. 
Hey, hit me up. Yeah, yeah. I like how they say hit me up. I'm like, oh, you're anonymous. Well, you're anonymous. How am I supposed you're to hit you? Yeah. Don't be off talk. Hit me up. Yeah. You guys got to realize, guys, if you guys want us to hit you up, either you leave your IG or something. And honestly, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to put a time to this because I'm starting to take dating seriously. Oh. So I'm in my dating stage and uh, the next girl I date is going to be my girl. What happened? The, the, the past one was it? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this man. So hit me up. All right, hit me up. It's just for the giggles. <laughs> it's just for the giggles. It's for the giggles. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? It's it's for the people driving at seven forty a.m. Okay, make them. Yeah, I'm not talking to bit. anybody right no, now. It's not. It's not. We're, but the next not. person I talk to is gonna be it. So yeah. hurry up. You're on time. You're, you're, you're really on, trying to get cuffed up already. I'm getting cuffed up. Why? I'm tired of the streets. But it's summer. So I don't care. Summer booze are fun. This though. is my thing. It's because bro, I have a I have such like fun days. It's not even connected. Like, I have cool days, not fun days. I just want to talk to someone. I want to vent. I don't vent. I don't have no one to vent to. You I need vent. a big booty Latina to go, vent Why can't you go vent to your house, dog? Why can't, you just, why can't you just give me a call, dog? I'll answer. You want to suck my dick after two? <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that's my point. See, you're not looking for any relationship if that's all you're looking for after venting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's venting, the point. If venting is really like you had a hard day, you're going to come back to someone or just talk you know to how someone. You say, like, when you're scared, you get hard. <laughs> when he vents, he gets hard. Yeah. It, Love it, turns me on. But, but, like, a relationship is more like you dropped your king. You dropped your crown king. Get back up. I'm not going to suck your dick after you event. Yeah, exactly. If yeah. anything, if I'm a girl and you event to me, I'm kind of like, like oh. I'm literally, I want to sometimes. Oh, don't, don't be giving <laughs> that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't sometimes do that. Don't do that. I want to be, I want to be a you're little dick. Spook. You're a dick. You're one of the reasons. Nah, bro. You're not making these dudes. You, these you, you, want, you want every girl he vents just to suck his dick? Sometimes, no. oh my god, that's, that's what I'm saying. What I mean is, sometimes I just want to be little spoon while I'm venting. Oh, okay, I want to be held while I'm talking. For her to tell you, let's go get some food. Yeah, that's well, what the I want. Why I said that's because there's that stigma where you hear from those those dumbass uh, other podcasts that are like super misogynistic and misogynistic and shit that say like, oh, like never vent to your girl. She'll call you a bitch. Every, girl I, like, cry, every girl I cried in front to was not my girl no more. Because they'll say that's what they you know they say like don't ever cry in front of your girl or don't ever vent to them because then they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna see you. Less. You know what traumatized me? Uh, a girl I used to like. I was venting to her. Mm -hmm. And then she told me I'm too emotional. <laughs> no, bro. I get it. That like, killed me. No, 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 no. I get it, bro. That's but that's up. my point. That like, killed me. Imagine opening up to someone you feel comfortable bro, with. Bro, and she said, you're too emotional. We've already said, bro. If you can't vent to your girl, then that's not your girl. Exactly. So I'm only, I only want a big booty Latina if I can vent to her. Right. There's and there's also a difference. You're venting like every day, bro. Yeah, and then you're just bad. bitchy. Then, yeah, <laughs> at that point, you're just complaining you're every fucking, fucking day. day. My yeah. life. I was 20. I didn't like my I life. Think, back I, then. Were you venting to her every day? Like about nah, work? Like, hey, nah. my life is so hard. Nah. My life. Were you venting to her and her like parents were going through a divorce? Like her life was no, just literally. Hard. How long were you guys together for? And, that, and you started venting. It was like, hard. C. It was. It was. Uh, oh, okay. oh, she was. Uh, she, bro, she's for the streets. We were locked in. We were locked in. No. All right. Next one. She was locked in with the football. Hey, I was waiting for you to say. That's like. It's a go-to. This is the exact it's same. It's a go-to. This is what happens every time I bring up. This, it's a go-to. Every go time I bring this, no, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. This is how it goes. He created this. I, I say something about her. You, you somehow you add the football team, and everyone's like. <laughs> that happens every clip single it, time. Clip it. Clip it. Clip all of them. Every, every single time. Clip all of them. It's not even funny anymore. I didn't even. <laughs> I would just. So that's just your same reaction every why, why single does he time. Go, oh, accept it, bro. You were trolling like when with I me. I brought her up. I was like, "Here comes Caesar with the football team," and then here comes Aaron. I saw it. I saw it. I plan saw it. it. You gotta plan it next time. All right, next one. That's why I don't talk about my feelings because they bring up a football team. <laughs> next one. Do you even know if that was real? I mean, next one. Hey, <laughs> recently been asked if it's weird for a guy friend to give a homegirl a stuffed bear. Personally, I don't think anything of it if we are just friends. But what do y'all think? What's the occasion? A stuffed bear. It depends how long you guys have been friends for. Yeah, bro. Because if he's known you for a long time and you probably had a bear or some shit, it's probably giving it to you like your inner child. But a stuffed bear, he probably put a camera on that shit. <laughs> he's more creepy so, than you're anything. Give social so much fucking like. You gave uh, me a big ass stuffed bear. Sits on my bed. <laughs> You see what I go down through at night yeah. when I start yelling at myself and crying? Shit. I see the weird shit you watch. You see that shit? That shit, <laughs> that shit sometimes nice, though. Put that like, shit on like, your TV. And that's why every time you Put that shit on my PS5. Yeah, that's why every time you're doing something, he, you'll get a text from him saying, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he sends me eye emojis. I'm like, what the fuck? I see you. I see you. Um, I don't think it's weird, but... Depending on... It like, just depends on how long you know the situation. situation. I also think it's just the occasion. Yeah, because I mean, like, I have a A random girl. stuffed bear, that's just... 
I yeah. don't know. Like if it's for your birthday and it's like a little gift yeah. thingy, like okay, yeah. birthday graduation. At the end of the day, <laughs> if I don't know. You don't see anything wrong with it. That's totally fine. That's yeah. you. Yeah. Next. What if the homie gave you a stuffed bear? The homie gave me a stuffed bear. Are oh, you bet? I'm, I'm expecting a kiss back. I hump that shit. <laughs> That's what I do with the bear you gave me. Yeah. She's kind of big Would too. Would you hump it big even booty. more knowing that I put like my your voice? On it? Oh no, I was gonna say your voice. I meant like my you know how like in Bodo Bear you can Good put your voice. No, I was gonna say like, like I sprayed some. Cologne. <laughs> like I sprayed, the, I sprayed like my cologne on it. Yeah, I Put swear, I swear, too. if I ever gave you a stuffed bear and I sprayed my cologne on it and I go to your room and I find a fucking hole behind it, bro. Hey, that's your fault for putting the cologne. If there's anybody who wants a Bodo Bear from me, I'll spray it in my cologne and I'll like moan in my voice. Just hit me what, up. What type of moan? I charge it for like three hundred bucks. What type of moan? I ship though? it out to you. Like a sick moan or like a like like. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so forced. <laughs> All right, next one. Hang on. <laughs> hey guys, is a stuffed bear gonna be super super stiff? Or It'll squishy? be three hundred bugs. It'll be three hundred. But is it gonna be stuffed tight or like stuffed squishy? However you want it. Oh, if you want made. it a little wet, I mean no. You choose the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it pulls up with sweatpants, white shirt, gold, gold chain, and night, of course what? I'm gonna make myself a builder bear like this. Because you know they have these. A little replica of, of you. Yeah. That'd be funny. Hey guys, I'm a person who finds it hard to buy friends or family gifts, especially a guy. It would be great if you if y'all can give me any ideas of what to get my homie for his birthday. Oh, easy. This is what you're gonna do. Guys are give him a stuffed animal. <laughs> give him a stuffed bear. <laughs> With you moaning. Right. Low key. What if it's a homie to another homie? <laughs> nah, get him some like Adidas slides, some comfortable like that. Usually you want to give your homie something that <laughs> Like Comfy. a gift that people don't really want to buy, but they need. Like some maybe some headphones. People, everybody loves headphones. Some underwear, some socks, some gym clothes, um, um, some everyday shoes, everyday sandals, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something they can use every day. Those are yeah, the best yeah. gifts. Something the best gifts are the ones day. you could use every day. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I, I think so. And also, if you really don't know, dude, like or whoever, I'm sorry if you don't know. Um, honestly, like I know I'm very simple. I know a lot of guys are simple. Buy him a gift card to one of his favorite places, whether that's stores or restaurants or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, yeah, bro. I will. I appreciate. I love. I love food, thought, food gift cards are the best. The, the food gift cards that are the they best. thought of me, they're like they didn't know what to get me, but the fact that they would know I like a certain store or That's a restaurant, good. I'm cool as fuck. With food, that. Especially if they're a picky person, be like, bro, just give me the gift card and I'll do it myself. F food yeah. gift cards are the best because then, like, low key, it's, it's like a free meal. It is like exactly. when Jamo gave, the, Jamo gave me the Domino's one. Yeah, I was like, fuck yeah, I got it's Domino's. Free pizza. I yeah, like, two pizza and some wings. You, bro, restaurants and or clothing stores or whatever stores itself. That that's clutch, bro. I did. I used the Uber one. For Uber Eats. <laughs> it's Shout out to J-Mo. A DoorDash one is clutch. Because yeah, uh, sometimes you're too lazy to leave your house. Just DoorDash at home. Yeah. yeah. All right, next one. Hey, friends. Hi. Love the pod. Thanks. Been listening since episode Tres Leches. Hey. A lot of people have been listening to Tres yeah. Leches. I know Tres, Tres Leches. Leches were... We got to see what happened in Tres Leches. No, bro. I went <laughs> back and watched... Crazy. Dude, no, can I tell crazy. you something? Uh, I went back and watched some of our old ones. What happened, dog? Why? We were better back then, fool. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, why? Why? I don't know what it was. I think it was just the dynamic. I'm not going to lie to you, Was bro. it because we sat over there? Call me crazy. Call me crazy. I want you to go. I want you guys to go back and watch those old episodes. It may have been like all over the place. I think back then it was. Uh, were we just more free? Yeah, we were. We like we used to say we don't give a fuck about these ads. Yeah, fuck these ads. Fuck oh, this. Fuck that's that. Right. You see that fucking thing over there? Yeah. 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 yeah that's. See, the reason. But I think we got sucked into the major. I remember stuff. we used to say like episode every episode would be like, oh, bro, we're well, not gonna be able to say fuck though, these ads. It was because we, we also cracked way more jokes per minute. We used to be funnier. We used to. Be, I think we. You know be. what they say? When to be honest with you, to, to be self aware of ourselves, bro, we used to be funnier back then. To we be honest with you, fat people are fat. I'm fat. Fat people, people are, are funny. funnier, and I was in a toxic relationship, <laughs> so yeah, I was fatter too. It's your fault, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Look up, look up the views since he started losing weight. Uh, look up the views and they start losing don't weight. Don't fucking tell me that because I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to McDonald's right fucking <laughs> you now. Go order like seven chicken, meals. Right? I'm gonna chicken. order seven it fucking meals you, right now, bro. bro. I'm not wow. kidding. I want you to go order what you what you yeah, talked about. Yeah, and then you're earlier. you're big too. I was a little chubbier, so I was funnier too. Yeah. And you know, oh no, I you wasn't. had the chubbiest cheeks, dog. You had a the fact cheek. that I didn't know I didn't recognize that until right now when I want to go back to watch the episodes, bro. I was like. Right you look like bro. a chipmunk. Yeah, it's yeah you look like the bros. I thought I was the Pillsbury Doughboy. No, you were, motherfucker, with them jeans. I had, I had a little like, oh. Also, because you're just a little adorable. I hate him. You're a little adorable. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, I, I, I had okay. to try so hard to like so make my cheeks big. So yeah, so it doesn't like other men touching <laughs> each other in front I of him. That, I that. What happened to you? What happened to you? Huh? I'm still, I'm still holding it down. 
I think no. <laughs> Nah, maybe we need to get uncomfortable. Honestly, couch. It's, it's we need okay. to get the uncomfortable couch it's like, again. It's not like it's not like talking down ourselves. It's just being self aware. Yeah, I went back and I watched, and I was like, you know I what was it like, was? Yeah. I'd be self aware right now. I think back then, uh, I mean, uh, a huge hit was like the like the history stuff I was doing. I gotta get I gotta get back on that shit. Fucking Omero Gomez. I know I got Omero Gomez your there. Deal. But, your deal? Yeah, but we're gonna work on one that. of your long lost deals. It's because it's, uh, <laughs> when you brought that up, that shit was funny. <laughs> you said, it was like, oh yeah, I've been wanting to bring up uh, this guy Omero Gomez. Like, what your deal? Or what the <laughs> fuck? Who is that guy? <laughs> but yeah, we'll yeah. get. He, he's a he's a band. Uh, what is it? A, band, oh, a bandolero. Bandolero. Yeah. All right. Well, who's the next one? Sorry, we got All super right. off. Okay, yeah. So I've been listening since episode three, Leches, <laughs> and I love Bueno Bueno. I still remember the first time y'all were calling your supporters and Rex did a third person. Hi, we're here with Saul, Hans, and Rex. Ha, ha, ha. But anyways, can y'all please give me advice on working out? I've been working out for a month straight now. Been doing cardio, but what else is important in working out? And please, drop your workout playlists. Need new music to work out. You want to go... F- I don't, well, I don't know what this person's goal is. Yeah. Is it to lose weight, gain weight? Yeah, sexy, so... What's, cause there's be diff- strong. There's different, there's different um, goals. goals. Body there is, types. Lose body fat, gain muscle. There's someone that could just try to get bigger in general, just gain muscle alone. There's people that just want to get skinnier. So there's different workout plans. To be honest, it's well, a journey. Don't get intimidated. Just keep going. And yeah. little by little, you're going to start picking things I will up. say this. To help you also lose weight besides the cardio, because cardio is very good, uh, start in- implementing some weight lifting in there, honestly. Make yeah. sure, but make sure... Um, this is So back then, I did this because I was mainly just lo- looking to lose weight. I would... Uh, run first, then lift weights. Now, since I'm trying to build more muscle, I lift weights first, and then I do my cardio because it had. There's like the uh, I've seen many, many different people talk about it, and it is uh basically it looks like you know the the, the data you're, you're, supports you're, it. Data supports it basically. Um, that if you lift weights and then you do your cardio after, that supports more of the muscle growth. Right, basically. So the science behind it. You want to get it nerdy? Go for it. <laughs> So the science behind it is that since your body's already warm and ready after you do cardio, your body's going to be trying to burn more and more fat when you're actually working out with the muscle, with, yeah. the, with, the, with the weights. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, if you're trying to get like buff or strong, you can't be running. You can't be hitting cardio like almost every day because it's just not going to help you. I should yeah. definitely not do cardio every day then. Yeah. I well, do cardio after well, every workout. Well, for you, you're still trying to get down in weight, no? I'm also trying to get that muscle up while I'm doing it, yeah. But you, you, you're fine because you have the mass. But like for me, like me trying to, me trying, me trying to like gain weight and like run is super stupid hard. <laughs> what, what just happened? <laughs> I felt so weird right now. I was like, Shh, come here. You're a victim. Mm. Oh, don't say oh, that. Come on, bro, oh, cut that out. Boy, oh, say you know God. what? That's how we used to be in tres leches. Leave yeah, it in there. You're a victim. Yeah. Fuck it. It is yeah. what it is. But yeah. So it, it depends on what you want. I think like what he said. It's definitely uh a journey a journey because Saul was, was trying to lose weight at some point and then he was like now nah, i'm gonna try to get muscle because like after you lost and your double I lost, chin i lost more weight uh i lost working my out chin? yeah for the shave your beard and we'll talk <laughs> you like, you, little, little, like, uh, you know what actually i lost six pounds and you know what it was weightlifting i started weightlifting heavier yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it depends on the memory so uh also <coughs> my advice oats. advice if you wanna um what's it called grow like actually get like more mass you really think i lost my double chin oh my god yeah for the so most like part. if you're trying to get stronger and just more mass mm-hmm. um heavier weights less so reps skinny. right yeah but if you're trying to um <laughs> i fucking hate you right now uh, what are we talking about <laughs> but if you're trying if you're trying to get like cut oh yeah you can't you, less you, weight more reps that's literally how it is yeah i yeah. mean but if, you're, but if you're trying to get cut it's all about body mass body mm. mass so you just gotta hit cardio and eat well like yeah. bro this is i fucking hate this bro this oh my god i got it the ick mm. don't try to get abs when your bmi is over like 22 percent. don't 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 go hit the app machines don't try to like look for the but, abs but you should it doesn't like so you no know, you gotta build that you still want to you still want to have foundation core. you gotta right. build that foundation but don't expect the six pack. don't expect the six pack oh, but still have but have the core the, muscle the core is good the core is yeah, good for anything core. so what yeah, i also yeah. saw too what people don't realize is when they're first starting out too when you when you get a pound of muscle and a pound of fat right it weighs the same whatever big guess difference but here's the difference the pound of fat is bigger so let's just say this is a pound of of uh fat and this is a pound of muscle right they're both weigh a pound but one smaller than the other so when you first start off 
you're gonna be like, fuck, I've been working out for a month, I've been working out for three weeks, blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't, I don't see a difference. Your body is definitely changing. And that pound of fat that you're losing is because that muscle's coming in. So it may not look like you're losing anything, but give it more there. time. The muscle's getting there and the fat is being lost. So mm -hmm. after a month, you're like, fuck, I'm like only a pound down. Keep do, being consistent. And after those other few weeks pass, mm -hmm. it, you will fucking taper definitely out. see the difference. Yeah, you taper yeah. out. You do. Trust me, it happens. Ooh. Also, I'm running the October marathon if you guys want to join me. Yeah. Yeah. By the way. Where's that at? Long Beach. How far, how much is it? October 16th or no, something? No, no, no. How much? Miles. It's a marathon. 26.2. Fuck. We I can do 24 it. miles, but I don't know about 26. Oh, my God. You got like what? October? Yeah, so it's I'm down for, June, July, I'm, August, I'm, September, I'm down October. for a, a 5K. I don't run. I don't I don't run even half marathons anymore. Like, oh, I wouldn't fuck. pay. That's I would, I, fuck, bro. Ah, fuck. Right that. now, I'm in my bodybuilding journey. You, yeah, could, be, you yeah. could be fit and run a marathon. Yeah, nah, but like, we're not like athletes. Like, I mean, we're... we're yeah, yeah, I'm not, not like, like I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm like a workout. Yeah, it's not like, like we're some that. football stars, bro, that could like be fucking ripped and still run like. like yeah, like, it's a little hard. It's, 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 it's all, a lot of let it me, is nutrition. Let me finish the summer, like with my, like just so I can see how, like how it looks, yeah. and then next year. But once he starts doing that type of training, he's gonna lose some muscle. Mass. Yeah, once the summer's over, I'll not start too training. Much. I'll, I, once summer's over, I'll we're train talking for about, the March. We're talking about getting ready to run twenty six miles, bro. That's, that's like he's gonna lose muscle mass, bro. Yeah, and that's in like what five months. Not really. Just your if nutrition. he's trying to get twenty six mile fit for in five months, bro, he's gonna lose muscle mass. No, bro, what do you mean? You can't. He won't. Dog, the fact that he's not a regular runner. Yeah, five oh, yeah. months is a short amount of time. No, yeah. it's not. What do you mean? You're, 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 he's he so has twenty six miles soccer anymore, bro. Your 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 body's designed to run. I'm not even trying to yeah, talk shit on him. Ran, I'm saying I that ran in like fucking. That's my point. He hasn't <laughs> ran in so long. I, I, I could even place a bet on my you. knees hurt, bro. I could place a bet on. I'm you. not saying he can't complete. I'm saying though. The fact that he's not used to running that much anymore. It's yeah. a huge, it's a huge fucking and Especially for the like discipline, the discipline in five months. That's That's tough. crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not training until July. After summer. Well, because Bro, I mean, you run all the time. <laughs> no, I don't. Bro, I'm check my Nike. Marathon. Check, get the next I, one. Check, next check, one, check next my next Nike one. out, bro. I ran like two twice a week, two times a week now. Get the next one, man. You just did a marathon last month, bro. Yeah, bro. What was it really last month? No, it was like two months ago. Two months ago. Oh, relax, bro. Two months off. That was 60 days. Relax. All right, next one. That's crazy. <laughs> Episode one fifty nine. Yes, this is one F one fifty nine. Nah, we're not, we're in a different one, but they're, she's <coughs> probably saying that we're at one fifty nine. Isn't that crazy? That's one hundred fifty nine weeks. So is this episode one sixty? No, I think it's one sixty two. Oh fuck! I heard the take the mic from the girl that's in a twelve years relationship. I experienced the same thing, and I have been in a long relationship over ten years. Started off the same way for me. I realized that I was being manipulated into feeling insecure, walking with my head down whenever we would go out, while it was okay for him to check out other women and compliment them in front of me. Anyways, it was really hard to get out of that mindset, but I pretty much just said enough is enough. I broke up with him after five years because our relationship was too toxic. We got back together, but I set boundaries and caught him out on all his shit. We broke up for one year. The first year back was hard because we were used to our old ways. Honestly, it takes a lot of work from both of you if you want to make it work. Lucky, we have to be, we have been able to get over the past and grow together, so now we are good. But yeah, girl, it's not worth it. And if he is not going to put in the work and change to the better relationship, then leave. Thanks, guys. Love the pod. Love you, too. Love you. So I'm I, glad that things are working out I, for you. I like how they're giving each other advice now. Ah, you guys that. are becoming a community. How yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. Fucking cute. You know what? Her bringing up the uh, or manipulation. Or have you um, <laughs> have you guys heard of the of this term called breadcrumbing? Mm, no. When you give minimum. So yeah, what? bro. One thing about okay, me is so, I'm manipulative. <laughs> oh, Jesus, guys. So I'm gonna say that breadcrumbing is literally just a little uh, a fancier or a fancier word for f people masquerading as manipulation. It's manipulation to the key, like. Yeah, I used like to do that no shit. It. It's like you think yeah, you'll get you. the whole bread, but so, you're getting little so watch this, watch this. So you basically, you here's, here's what these fucking like wannabe like uh, dating gurus be saying, right? Breadcrumbing, right? Here's what it is. So they say, oh, you like a girl, right? You want her to like you? All right, this is what you do. Monday, just send her a good morning text. Don't say anything, okay? Uh, Tuesday, um, just ask her how her day was and don't even respond to her response, mm. okay? Wednesday, shower her with compliments and uh, like give her all the attention do quick replies all right thursday don't even text her back at all like don't even text her once 
And then Friday, ask her out for the weekend. And then, and then that's what breadcrumbing is. That just sounds like a busy schedule that to me. No, no, that honestly is sounds literally like just manipulation, bro. I do that Damn. shit on accident. I, yeah. I, I've, the fact you know what I used to do? No, no. If you did that on accident, different, right? But if you plan it out. But if you're planning it out, bro, that's manipulation yeah. at its finest. Yeah. You know what I used to do? You can call it whatever you want. I, <laughs> but it's I think, manipulation. I even think I made this into a fuckboy fact like back then. It was like go on a date with her and then don't text her the next day. Yeah, you did. That was an old fuckboy fact. Yeah. That's an old one. That's a breadcrumb right there. Yeah. Because you're like, because then she starts thinking. She starts getting yeah. insecure. And what do you and guys then, So think? when you text her the following day, she's mm -hmm. happy. So as a dude, seeing Ooh. this. Damn, fuckboy fact. I wish we can get a girl's advice on this. But since as a dude, what do you think? You think that could work? I mean, honestly, I think that's hell no. It's not going to work. This is what with, I think. Especially with the girl that knows like her worth, like definitely knows her worth. You it's going to work. Hey, you got to pick your target. That's the thing. It's going to work for the younger. <laughs> it works for the younger girls. Jesus Christ, dude. It works for the younger girls. <laughs> got to pick your target. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know what? I uh, like, yeah, it works for the younger girls. The older girls, they, they're done with that shit. Like, yeah. they've been if there, you think about that. a girl, there, like that. an attractive girl. They've gone through a lot. Like they, they, they've seen it all. They've heard yeah, it all. They got they've their stars all, yeah. and their stripes. Yeah, they got. It's their because they have that experience. If, yeah, you're, yeah. if you're, if you're, if you're trying to do this to a girl who's like in her early twenties, fuck boy fact. Yeah, her, if you're doing uh -huh. this to a girl that's in her, oh wait, oh, sorry, do it again, sorry. Fuck boy fact. Uh -huh. You wanna manipulate a girl? Oh wow. <laughs> Make sure she's under the age of twenty-two, and above eighteen. Okay. Thank God for saving Thank that. God. Thank, Thank God, God for you saving said that. that. I mean, it's obvious, but but you know since. I want to bring it up because motherfuckers are weird. Motherfuckers went to graduations. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin graduated. I know. I'm playing. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I, 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 I get. Yeah, I had one for you. No, I was, keep I it in the chamber for you. Keep it in the chamber. Keep it in the chamber. No, um. As I said that out loud, I was like, no, um. Yeah, definitely, because a, a girl who's part like in her late twenties or even mid twenties, they're probably like, dumb, dumb. Like I know these games, right? But I guess that can possibly only work on a girl who's like in her younger twenties, yeah. in her in her earlier twenties, because uh, it's not that much experience yet, you know so they don't know that. Fuck. But like, I feel like it wouldn't even work even with someone in her in her in her nah, early twenties, because I feel like that's just like it's a super childish thing I'm to gonna, do, bro. I'm gonna tell you, they're still childish. Their frontal lobe isn't I'm gonna, fully developed. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna tell you something. It works even on older women. It works, it works on, on thirty women. on thirty, 30 worlds. worlds. 30 because thirty five, because they don't mind. They want no, thirty year olds. Thirty year olds, they just want like they want to settle down already. So they just they kind of them, just grind it out. Yeah, some of them grind it out. They're like, yeah. I'm tired of this shit. There's two different types of thirty year olds. There's the ones like I'm tired of this shit. Like, give me a like, the one that's gonna be like, stop texting me, little boy. Yeah, yeah. And the other one <laughs> that's one. like a little bit more desperate, so to say. Yeah. But you want to know something funny? A little, a little. I did a little training session. I did a little, uh, uh, I, I trained the manipulation 101. No, no. I did the reverse of a manipulation if and I'm so proud. She was like my, uh, you know, what, what is it? My, when you have a mentor, what are you? Wait, what's that word? The mentee? Uh, it's not mentee. She's my, uh, uh your apprentice. Mentor, apprentice, the, uh, apprentice, uh, apprentice, your apprentice, mentoree? your squire. No, not the mentor. If you're the mentor, She's if you're, if you're Miyagi and the karate kid, I think you're just a student. The yeah. Student. You're the student or you're the, the squire. Or, or yeah, you're yeah. The, uh, so there's this girl, right? Is it mentoree? No, it's nah, there's I, a word I for said it, it first. I said it. it. I said it. Like it was after mentory. I said you apprentice? are the apprentice. apprentice. Is it an apprentice? Is that? I think maybe. I think she's my Whatever. Apprentice. You were the other person. Yeah, so you I was a Mr. mentor. Yogi. I was a mentor, right? Yeah. And there's this girl talking to me. She had a huge crush on me. Um, I think when she first started like hitting me up and flirting with me, I think she was 19. Now she's 20, right? And this whole time, I was training her and I was like, kind of like. I'll manipulate her, but then I'll tell her, you know, I did this and this is how you reacted. And now we're here and I watch out for this. And I was out, bro. I dead ass. I was like training her. So now when she's in a relationship, she spots the shit out. You, you also, and she tells me like, you actually, you, you helped me. You, you also did something even way worse than manipulation. What? Because now she sees you as her savior. You, 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 sir, have a special place. You know what? That. You did this. You it's you chess. you want to know why? You you Trojan horse the fuck out of this situation in a way where it's so manipulative I'm that glad, you didn't even know what you were going with I'm until glad you, you figured said it out. No, I'm glad you said that because my daughter's looking out for men like you. She had right, so she had like the huge crush on me, and she 
I'm the one she wanted to marry and all of this. Rack. And I was telling her, I'm really not the guy for you. Like, I'm not. This is not what you want. And I'm going to show you why. And I was showing her why. And then and she was, made her fall more and she more was so sprung you. up on me. And she was like, you know what, so Like, you're right. Like, I don't deserve to be treated like this. And I'm like, you're learning. Yes. You literally grabbed her and you were like, you are. I'm like, this is, this is not. Don't do that to me. But every time I did something. Was I'm your like, voice always soft? You I, spoke to her softly? Calmly. And you leaned forward. There'll be times when she'll cry. And I'm like, Why are you I crying? told you this. I yeah. told you this from the beginning. This was going to happen. You should have understood. Why'd you let this happen? 100%. You are an evil And she's like, you're man. so right. And then, you know, I was so happy, bro. I was so happy. She told me recently, we caught up. She said she went on a date. Yes. And she said she spotted some red flags from him that reminded me, oh, that reminded, reminded her, her of me. And she stopped talking to the guy right away. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yes welcome to the real world like as she I, i've been training no her motherfucker welcome to you and then <laughs> this is what i tell her on my like, one day when you found the love of your life and you're happy and you're and you that's your man like you have a great career one day we're gonna bump into each other each other and maybe at a restaurant and i'm just gonna look at you you're gonna look at me and we're both gonna go to a restroom and just <laughs> Fuck. I hate him right and then now, she dude. just loved that fantasy. <laughs> I hate you right now, dude. So, you know what? You know what? I kind of started falling in for this <laughs> no, fantasy. No, don't say that. Don't Hold say me that. like this. Don't say that. You know what I? Yeah, I, I love. I love doing you know that what's shit. The saddest part, bro. Oh, I, just the evil. The, the, the evil plotting you in you right now, right? You were doing all that, and when you when she told you, Saul, I saw it, and you were like, when you said, "Good, you're learning." Now suck it. <laughs> so like, it's like, bro, what the, 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 fuck? the, the most the payoff. The most fucked up part is that if I wouldn't have caught what you were doing, everyone would have thought that you were helping her. Yeah, yeah. But I'm worse. Nah, I would have thought from the beginning you're just trying to fucking. Nah, she's worst. dope. Like honestly, she's dope. She's my she's my friend now. Um, and I honestly I wish her the best and I want her to find. That's, love. I'm sorry. This is just a r- can I, can, very can, random and weird relationship can, you guys have can, going on, like friendship or whatever you call bro, it. I just get so happy when, like, you ever see your hoes like find love? Yes, 100. percent I love when my hoes find love. I'm follow me, baby girl. I'm follow me. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna unfollow you. But unfollow you follow me. me. I want. I want I you. I like the Valentine's Day post. I want to see you happy when they post their hands. I like it. Like I know I treated I, you badly, and I'm so happy you know your worth now. I text them. I'm like, I'm glad you found love. Love, I did this. I created you. <laughs> you are my disciple. You, I held you by your hand. When you get married and you say I do, I'm there. I made you realize that you deserve better. Hundred percent. And you got better. Thank I, me. I love that. I love that. I appreciate men like you because men like us need to exist. Because men like them need to get married. You forgot the part where you thought I'm so happy for you. We should meet up and hang out and we could talk about your relationship. Oh. That's the part you guys. That's the payoff. Put that's, because you that's, guys would be like, listen, now let's test. Now let's test your loyalty. That's gonna. Yeah. That's gonna come when we're all forty and we're doing oh, like God. we're not cheating anymore. We're all, what is it called? Swinging. We don't cheat. We're swinging. No, not swinging. Oh. It's not cheating. When you're in a marriage, you it's not cheating. What is it called? Hot pass. A hot pass. No, like like the song "Me and Mrs. Jones." Um, they're not cheating. The other word for cheating, the more adult way to cheat. Adultery. Yes. Uh, it's not adult. Yeah, it's. Adultery. I don't want to cheat, baby girl. I want to commit adultery with you. <laughs> so you want to be married yeah. and then cheat? Yes. Oh wow! I trained you this far. In. You know what's my favorite? Uh, Speaking of hoes, um, when you befriend a girl you were talking to, and like, because I have a lot of baddie friends that I end up befriending, and I came up with the first, the perfect formula. Mm. The perfect formula is formulas. you don't break up with them. You continue the conversation, you continue going on dates, you continue this, but you start slowing it down more and more and more until they decide to break it off with you. Because that leaves the door just slightly ajar where you could come in maybe a couple months later and be like, hey, can we talk about this? Like, I was want to be Cause, friends. Because you didn't close the door. Uh-uh. The door was... Th- so now she kind of feels guilty. This happened. <laughs> Shout out to V. I love Is you. this fucking manipulation just... 101? What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> she feels guilty. No, she stop feels, giving her the fucking... She feels... She's I'm, like, she's like hmm, maybe I should have gave him a chance. No, no. This, no. <laughs> this, uh, uh, like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but like, hey, it's happened multiple wait. times where, where it goes... Oh, yeah. Where Yo. they go... And not even... I don't even need the multiple chance. I need to just go on a nice afternoon with you. How are we saying... Are we? Are you saying this as in like uh, as, as like, I've done as it before? No, 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 no. Are we fuck. Hey, 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 hold hey. Hold 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 this hold is Tres Leches talking this right is now. Hold 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 wait, 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 wait. Here's my hold the fucking phone here, dude. Guys, hold, <laughs> bros, dudes, my guys. Hold on, okay. Manipulators. 
It's the, it's the <laughs> honestly, it's the pro club. Bro. Are you guys do, are are you saying this as like uh, like a warning to the girls? Or are you trying to get fucking manipulation advice to these I'm, dudes? I'm actually just talking to my friend right now. Yeah, right. Fuck off. These are, these bro, are the kind of exactly. we have. Exactly. Suck my right. You know what's crazy? Left, I'm not jealous right now. When he you started cooking, when he started cooking, I felt it. I was like. Yes, keep it going. Yup, uh, yup. And it was everything was landing. Uh, and now insane. you got a because bunch of baddie friends. You have a lot of baddie I feel friends. Like I'm taking a core every. Of, imagine going to a hotel. Yes. And let's say uh, every baddie friend you have is a room. And every room is slightly open. And every room is slightly open. And the ones that you break up with, they're closed and it says do not disturb. You broke my heart. I don't want to do nothing with you. Mm -hmm. Like you made me feel like a fool. Mm -hmm. One thing about a woman. She does not want to be looked and felt like a fool. Yeah, you have to understand something. Sometimes you gotta play the fool to fool. Yeah, her. you have to understand this. As a man, you have to understand that you're smart, very smart, very intelligent, smart enough to understand that a woman's ego is her biggest pride, and what you do is you just fall back on it. Whew. Am I in a fucking course for manipulation one on one right now? Yes, I'm laughing. Like, I'm laughing like the Joker. <laughs> Oh, in the background? Yeah. You guys heard episode's it. episode's called Manipulation 101. <laughs> I can tell. You never manipulated you heard it here. You, you heard it here, guys. You heard it here first, guys. Watch out for all hey, those steps. Okay. A little manipulation. Mani I can't even say that word. I don't, I don't even know. A little fuck. manila. A little manila never hurt nobody. Never hurt a killer. Yeah. A little, a little manila, manila never hurt anyone. Exactly. Yes. Eat some raw chicken while you're at it. But, so, yeah, yeah, ladies, watch out for that. Leave the door ajar. But if you want to learn, hit me up. I'm uh, I'm taking students right now. Yeah, I the class is open. I, I, and if you want to be my ring, ring, ring. This is the most beautiful part about having the hot friend that you once dated. She has hot friends, oh, no. and she's gonna say, "Oh, he was actually a great guy. I'm the one that fucked up." Oh. <laughs> when you okay. get, oh my god. Okay. Caesar, chef, chef. I'm just chef Caesar. I'm Today, just chef and rat emoji. You know what I'm gonna start? I'm gonna go Caesar. I'm gonna go buy a. I don't chef want to eat hat. at this restaurant. I'm gonna you buy a chef hat. <laughs> and whenever someone's cooking, <laughs> toss tossing it. it. Yeah, Link. tossing it with a Remy inside of it. Yeah, yeah, tossing it. Oh my god, beautiful. That wasn't cooking. You're not cooking on that last one. What? What? You know what? I'm you know what? You know what? If settles? I was Gordon Ramsay right now and I was rating your food, I'd be like, it's fucking raw. You know what's going? You know what's the garnish on top of this uh, of this meal? Mm. Calling Aaron a pick me. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? You, Why? Have to, you have to understand our audience. Oh, Bo yeah. Can both uh, be helped by our yeah our advice we because we're exposing ourselves in in, in a way. You and know, if we were bad people, we would not say yeah, this. Yeah, we wouldn't say this because we're exposing ourselves. But we're showing honestly, the real world how men really think. This was my point. Though. And listen, women. What was your direction? Was it to teach manipulation or to give out the warnings? When Whenever you go the to therapy, fits, when you go to therapy, you can either learn the skill or use the skill against people. People, viewers, that is take not part it of therapy though. It's part. Of, it's not to help you get skills to like injure or uh, um, hurt other people. It's to help you yourself within yourself. Exactly. I'm helping myself at the end of the day, uh, leaving geez. the door ajar. Oh, I fucking hate you. I have good nights with women. <laughs> yeah. Have fun nights with women. You should learn. Pick a, pick up a thing or two. How have you not gotten a little better, bro? What's the... no. you'll get there. No wonder you're where the pro clubs. I don't want to become Darth Vader, bro, or whatever. If I never the thing Star is, we Wars. don't plot this. What's a, what's a good analogy for a movie? I don't want to become um, Zerg. Zerg. Oh no. We're like, <laughs> I don't know. Don't well, I guess yeah. I mean, I I never watched Star Wars, but I guess the good the basically, I don't want to be I don't want to be fucking Anakin. Uh, <laughs> Anakin Skywalker, good guy turning into Darth bad Vader. guy Darth Vader. I've never told a woman I'm a good guy. Mm. Never in my life. Never. She knows what she's getting into. Yeah. She sees a pro There's a clubs. red flag on my Instagram and it's been there for years. <laughs> there has. That's not the first hint? That, that is, that is so true. You need. That is so true. I don't hold relationships for longer than a year. He's self-aware. I am I am dangerous because I am self-aware. Okay. A person that's self-aware. And you know what's feels? crazy? Girls love a fixer-upper. Yeah. They want to <laughs> fix that red flag. Yeah, fix her up. Big like, girls, baby girl. I got, so, I got some fucked up windows, a crooked ass door. Oh my mm. god! But you know what? I'm gonna take You're care on of the you. market. And you know what it is? It's because women love arts and crafts. Yeah, you always said you always saw them in school with their cool little scissors and shit. I wonder if, their different yeah. different pencils. I wonder if mm. I can make a man think this way too. Like if I can make a man behave this way. Just, Let's have a challenge. I, I want to see my like 
full Let's power. see who can get a gay person to send them 200 bucks. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm Fuck. like, I'm like today or tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are asleep. He's, he's like, I got, <laughs> I got someone ready, right? That's crazy. I'm, I'm going to do it. Daddy? Yeah. Daddy? Daddy? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Daddy? But I think that's enough manipulation and toxicity. <laughs> this is the, bro, this, this was like... It was like 30, 40 minutes like, of that. But fucking, it was good. It was good, oh bro. My God. You wanted tres leches? You're getting tres leches. You got tres leches all over your... <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Sheesh. Yeah. Oh, my God. But now we're going to go to our Patreon shoutouts. Everybody, thank you so much for all the support you guys are showing on Patreon. Appreciate you all. Thank Love you all. you all. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's another website. We get more content. This content, the next one, I want to do a, a Vegas vlog. I'm gonna put a Vegas vlog and put it on Patreon. So if you guys want to see how, I say, oh, are we yeah, gonna do yeah. a yeah, yeah, I'm a yes. vlog. Yes. So if you guys want to see what happens in Vegas, me and Saul will be out there. It's, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, except on Patreon. It's coming back, Patreon, baby. Sheesh. Mm. So check it out. So we're gonna shout out our friends at Patreon. We're Find gonna out if I come back with anything. <laughs> we're gonna start off with <laughs> in seven days. <laughs> starting off with Irving Lopez. Irving, Irving, welcome bum, Irving. Bum, 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 bum. Shout out to you. Computed Gamer Three, Monica, Monica. What up, Monica? Monica. 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 Jasmine Torres. What a jazz. What's up, Yamin? Lee Marie. What's up, Lee, Lee Marie? Marie? Andy, Cuisine. no love. Andy, Andy no. no I want. I want. I want it to be Andy with love, bro. With love. Carla like Corazon. See, Carla got the Corazon. Car Carla got the Corazon to give in her, her love. Calzones. Mm. Damn. Robert to Hoochie. Robert. How Hoochie is this man? I want to know. I, I want, want to know. know. Alex Galindo. What up, I Alex? want to know how Lindo is Mr. Galindo. How gal is he? Fidel, the billionaire menaces. What I want to learn how menaces is this is his menaces. It's his millionaire. Yeah. Jonathan? Jonathan. I want to just learn how Jonathan is. I want to see his dick. Oh, wow. Breezy, what a loquita. Breezy, what a I want to know how loquita, this little brisita, is doing out la here brisa, in the cita. La brisa, David, no, la brisa. Naranjo. How orange do you think he is? How fucking orange is this man? How orange do you think he is? I don't know. Gloria Maravilla. Oh. I want to know how damn fucking maravillosa is Gloria. this fucking Gloria. Gloria, I want to know how I can marry you. Jesus. Don't pay attention to the man. I want to learn how many men he can guzz <laughs> <laughs> guzzle down. <laughs> Maria Felipe. Maria? I want to learn how much pancakes she can flip. Karencita. Uh, that was hard. Karencita. All I got is ooh. Uh. BBL Dahlia. Dahlia, we all I want to learn does it. Never mind. Never it does. Never mind. It does. I want to see it does the BBL BBL. Is the BBL <laughs> BBLing? Got Sandra Gonzalez. Sandrita. Sandrita. Oscar Martinez. What up, Oscarid? I want to learn how much. Fuck, I don't know. Shout out to you, Oscar. Kike y la novia Perez. I, I want to know how much Kike can bench. Liliana Juarez. What up, Liliana? What's up, Liliana Juarez? And the man, the myth, the legend, the man that owns us all. Mr. Alvaro Benitez. Uh, hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? so much oh, for subscribing and thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment share subscribe follow me on every social media platform at saul v gomez follow me at i know caesar follow me at air bear underscore i e and we'll see you next week uh, uh, uh. stay toxic